What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome to the show. If you're new, thanks for being here. If you're here last week, welcome back. We are live, long car live, every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Feels good, man. I remember to turn the background music off this time. We are here. We are here, man. This has been awesome. This has been awesome. Last week was a blast. This week, we're going to have a good time again. John Party in the house, in the chat. I see you. Thanks for being here, brother. And thanks to all of you again for watching Long Car Live. Again, we'll be here every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time tonight. Tonight, Mr. America's Card Room himself, Mr. Phil Nagy in the house. You guys already know we're going to be talking a lot of poker. We're going to be talking a lot of NFTs. And the thing I'm going to love personally talking the most about tonight is Phil's background, Phil's story, if you will how America's Card Room came to be, how he, you know, did it all. It's going to be a great stream tonight. And again, a big shout out to all of you Violet Mystery in the chat. What's up, guys? Thanks for being here. I see you guys in the chat. Lots of love as always. And um, again, I'm really looking forward to this being a staple on the Wednesday night schedule. So yeah, this is great. Feeling good? Let's roll out. None other than the man, the myth, and the legend... Mr. Phil Nagy. And we are live. Yes. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. How's it so going, man, Mr. Longcar? In the house. If you guys don't know, oh, I don't just know about in legends. case, there's like maybe. Maybe in my own mind. Half a Maybe if there's just like half a person out there that doesn't know this guy right here, America's Card Room CEO, Phil Nagy, in the house tonight. And again, I'm really looking forward to sh uh, to, to Phil sharing with you yeah. guys his background, I, his story. It's a great one. Phil, thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for having me, Mike. Thanks for having me. And I do prefer Captain America's Card Room than, you know, Sir Mr. America's. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for having me. It's it's. Uh, your show, you've been working on the show for a long time and it's coming out good. I just love everything about it. Love it. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for being here tonight. What a, what a day to have you on when with Bitcoin hitting all time high, right? Ah, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it turns out turns out that uh, the, the true believers, right? It's been right there the whole time, right? That's right. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing, right? It's just amazing. And, and you can feel it. It's, it's, it's exciting when it's running like that, but it's also exciting to you know watch all the news happening and all the different things happening in that that whole crypto space. Uh, it's it's I mean, gosh, it's just, what's it what's it like to be? When's the last time you saw anything this big ever happen in our lifetimes? Not our lifetimes. Well, maybe the internet, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe the internet, maybe the internet. But yeah, it's it's yeah, it's obviously it's a it's a fascinating time. Obviously, the Bitcoin ETF launching this week. Um, yeah. man, a lot of big stuff going down. Coinbase partnered with the NBA yesterday on opening night. Like, I, I feel like it's just a guarantee that more and more and more stuff oh, yeah. is going to roll well, out here in the very near future. It's an, it's an exciting oh, time. Oh, for sure. It's, 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 I mean, the future is already here. It's, what's funny, what's funny is like, uh, Bitcoin, it's, uh, it's not, it's not the future anymore. It's the now, yeah. right? It's the reality. And it's, I mean, being on this side of the desk, I know what it's done for my business. I, I know what it's going to do for everybody else's business, right? So that's why I'm still in it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, so if you guys are just tuning in. Phil Nagy's in the house. We're going to be talking America's Card and Poker, obviously. We're going to be talking about some NFTs. If you guys notice there in the bottom right corner of Phil's screen, super sick picture of him. NFT alert coming up soon. And also, again, Phil, I'm really excited for you to share your story, how America's Cardum came to be, all of it. It's a great story. And uh, for sure, as always, you guys will learn something about our guest you did not know about before tonight. Jet's in the house in the chat. What's up, guys? Thanks to all of you for being here. Appreciate all the love. And uh, yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Guest yeah, number two in the house tonight. Thanks for being here again, Phil. Appreciate you, man. Hey, no, no worries. No worries. So on that note, we're talking Bitcoin. We're talking America's Cardum. You were, correct me if I'm wrong, one of, if not the first CEO of an online poker site to adopt Bitcoin and crypto. Tell me about how that process happened. 
when it happened and what led you to dive yeah. into Bitcoin? Well, it, it's, it's so let's see. I first heard, I first heard about Bitcoin. I want to say it was, we, we first, we first adopted it. It was like 2012. Right. Uh, and like, these are dates off the top of my head. So itch ish. Right. And uh, about two years before that, maybe um, I had a couple of guys come into my office and uh, explain to me Bitcoin. Right. They said it's going to be the next big thing. And they're, you know, pitching me this and talking about how it's going to be this. And <clears throat> and I look at him, I says, let me get this right. You want me to invest in a coin that's not a coin that's minted by some computer somewhere by solving a math problem. Get the get out of here, right? Like, what do you think I am? Just nuts. And they wanted me to buy, I think it was $10,000 worth, $11,000 worth of Bitcoin was what it started with a thousand coins. Um, that was a mistake. I should have done that, right? Uh, the mistake, uh, I think the mistake that they made was how they explained it to me, right? And uh, I was, it's, we've been doing at the office, uh, well, the virtual office anyway, um, it's, we have at the office pretty regular that we do these, you know, us, we can gather up everybody and kind of do this, this kind of thing, this, this ask bill, or we, I see some, something happening in the company that I want to inform everybody. And I, it's, it's, I dig the, the back and forth conversations. So uh, I kick these guys out and if they would have explained it to me the way the next guy explained it to me, I, we would have got, we would have been two years earlier. Right? Um, the, my friend, a buddy of mine came over and said, Bill, it's, it's, I'm going to show you, you got to, you got to you download this app. And the app was mycelium. Yeah. Download the app. I said, what's this about? He said, just, just watch. I downloaded the, the app, pulled up the QR code and he scanned the QR code and he sent me a hundred dollars in Bitcoin. And by the time I got it, it was like a hundred dollars and 50 cents. And I went, um, how much did that cost? How did I, how did you just print money by sending me? He said, well, that's the fluctuation is, you know, it went up and the fees to go, how much can you send? He said, all of them. I said, how, how far do you, how, like, do you, who do you have to talk to? Like, like he said, no one it's, and I said, okay, let me pull up a chair. Now I need to understand this because he just showed me the user case. He showed me how, um, how it's, how it's actually a utility, how it, how it, it's money. And it's, it's the other day I had a had an aha moment because I've been digging into these NFTs and, you know, you go down that rabbit hole, you know, you can get there. You can get lost there, Mike. It's it's pretty deep and dark. <laughs> it's a deep, 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 dark hole. That's what she's about to say. And, and I have it, to ask you really quick, just to back up one second, sure. Phil. Yeah. The first two gentlemen that you were talking about that came into your office, about what year was that? And what was the price of Bitcoin when? They I want to say it was I want to I want to say it was eleven dollars, and then it's two, year, two years later it was like twelve hundred. And I was going to say what 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 price was Bitcoin at when you started buying was, and when you got really into it, and, and what point in time it was, was it's, it's twelve like around twelve hundred, twelve thirteen hundred. Okay. Yeah. Better late than never. Um, Better late than never. And obviously, hey, you got it's, in. It's, a you lot. know what? You're still not late. That's right. <laughs> You're still not late. It's, it's, I mean, the, look, you look at the, the, the worldwide adoption, it's still in its infancy. Yes. It's, it's so small right now compared to what it's going to be, right? I mean, what the gold market cap is six, $6 trillion, right? And Bitcoin's one trillion, maybe? Yeah, right around, yeah I, just above one trillion, yep. Right. So it's one sixth the market cap of gold. It's got a long way to go. Long, long, long way to go. Hell yeah. So and one of the what, what was the, the point that I was going to make, yes. I think I hope if somebody gets actually um, I, I would love to just, you know, lead somebody down the primrose path. If there's anybody in the chat that, that feels like that they really know how to explain Bitcoin or how to know Bitcoin. Just give me a thumbs up in the chat that you, that you know how. Right. And uh, so while we watch, we'll watch the chat and see who thinks they know about Bitcoin and could explain it. Right. Um, it's I'm going to show you the difference between uh, Bitcoin and and everything. OK, so there's bot lady. She goes, hi. Um, and we'll just, I, you know, what, I'll just, I guess we'll post, post the question to you, Mike. You know a lot about Bitcoin. You know a lot about cryptocurrency. You know about NFTs. So you've dug in there, right? Yeah. So you think you feel like you could explain it to somebody, right? Yeah. OK. How does Visa work? How does Visa work? Yeah. Ah. 
You know what? You don't need to know. It just does. Why isn't Bitcoin the same? Why, why, is, why is there that trust in Visa? And but, you have, but people have this insistence of knowing everything about Bitcoin that they need to know before they're going to trust it. Right. Here, I send you money. You get money. It's, it works just like Visa, just like just like any other currency. Right? And I don't know why the, it, people insist on knowing everything about it. I've, that's crazy, isn't it? You ever think about it like that? <laughs> that's actually that, that's a great point. Yeah. Like, I guess I guess obviously the first thing that comes to my mind is centralized versus decentralized. Everyone's so used to to a company and boards and members running something such as visa whereas mm -hmm. bitcoin there is no panel there is no ceo there is no wow it's, it's obviously it's, it's incorruptible no incorruptible. i mean that's how could i possibly trust that <laughs> but i guess obviously that's, i guess that's the first place where people kind of wonder and scratch their heads obviously without really looking into it is yeah. It's decentralized, then who runs it and how does it not fail with not that's, that's, anybody that's... ever running it? But obviously it's its own ecosystem. It's a revolution, an evolution of online currency. And it's like you said, you said it so well. There's nothing, there's no other way to say it other than it is a deep, dark rabbit hole when you really start. Oh, for sure. And not just right? obviously and, Bitcoin, and... but there's thousands of coins and different use cases. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it's forget about it. It's, 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 it's... You can spend the, spend the rest of your life. And you know what? It changes so fast. I think that's one of the things that, that really has attracted me to it is it changes, it changes the, the technology and everything changes so fast that you're constantly interested. But one of, the, one of the problems on the business side of things is you can go so far deep down that rabbit hole that you never actually get anything done, right? <laughs> because you can't, the technology is moving so fast that it's, you just have to pick a spot and say, okay, I'm going to do this, right? And I'm not going to, you know, it's, it's, it's I'm going to make sure that this works. And while you're making that work, it goes, you know, three months, six months, nine months down the road, and a whole bunch of stuff's changed, but at least you got something done. I've seen a lot of companies, you know, go down that direction that they're just frozen because they can't uh, be the newest technology or the, 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 the it's, it's, you can't keep up with it. It's not, it's not possible. <laughs> It's true. Um, which is which is really it, it. That's one of the things that attracts me to it is because it's constantly in, in changing and and look at how look at how short the, the the feedback. I mean, you look back in history and uh, you know it's it's from steam engines to cars to uh, the, the 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 feedback loop and the, the evolution loop of technology. It's gone faster and faster and faster. Well, dear, we just we, we had the in our life. Well, my lifetime, dear. Um, it's it's. The internet, right? The, the dot com era, and now cryptocurrency, all in one lifetime. Like, how fast are things moving? It's very true. Very it's, true. It's, you, you've never seen you've never seen cycles like that in in the world. It's it's all it's all happening so fast. So it's it's you just you just gotta you just gotta keep your eyes open and um, and watch for those opportunities. But and you're gonna miss some. And you're not going to see some. I'm not upset that you know it's, that I didn't get Bitcoin at eleven dollars a coin. I got it twelve hundred, right? And you know what? It's, I didn't buy enough then, right? Well, you can't get the top of everything, right? Uh, it's, the fact is, if you had all the money in the world, it would be really a boring place because money wouldn't mean anything because you would be the only one with it, right? <laughs> um, so anyway, it's it's we were I think we were the first we were the first. Bitcoin crypto adopter that um, allowed people to use Bitcoin and uh, and and play in dollars, and that's that's to me that's important, right? And the reason that's important is because again I consider myself more of a crypto evangelist. Right? I don't know if it's going to be Bitcoin. I don't know if it's going to be Ethereum. I believe it's going to be Bitcoin, um, from you know my experience. But you know there, there's, there's some non-zero chance I'm wrong. I don't know how high that chance is, uh, but it's it's the fact is 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 letting people deposit in dollars and play deposit in Bitcoin and play in dollars. It it allowed us to introduce Bitcoin or cryptocurrency to so many more people, right? Um, because if they were scared of it or it took them some time or this or that, um, fine, it's it's still there. And what what I did was I made it fastest withdrawal option, right? 
because, you know, it's it's I believe that you had a big score and, and, and somebody introduced you to Bitcoin. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's an interesting story, too. It's a very right? interesting story. And it's, it's a lot of a lot of people, you know, it's, it's your welcome. Right? And that, you know what? I'm not looking for a pat on the back or anything is is I'm, I'm happy to help it propagate. I, I want Bitcoin to be successful. Right. And um, because it's good for it's good for everybody. It's the moving money. It just it just makes me crazy that that you have money in the bank and you can't move it because somebody says, so. well, why am I using your bank? Well, it's, it's and, and, it, and it's really it's 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 politics and and the governments and the centralized banks and everything. They actually created the user case for Bitcoin. They really did. They created the backdrop. And they, they continue the to, they continue to yeah, yeah, there would be no need for it if they just left people alone and let them do their own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, that's right? that's. That's one of the Thank number you. one things that people really obviously love about Bitcoin is what you just said right there of, I have full control of my money. I can send it where I want, when I want, at all times. And yep. obviously, that's- a And what's thing. it backed by? It's it's backed by, well, it's backed by technology. It's backed by, uh, uh, it's a uh, truth. It's backed by math, right? And that's fascinating. But I'll tell you what, I'll trust that math a lot more than I trust any human <laughs> until I'm proven wrong. Right? Um, but it, it's it seems pretty solid. You know, it's it's and, and anytime you've got you know, an emerging technology like Bitcoin, sure, the blockchain, you know, slows down and, and stuff happens. And uh, it's it's it's, you know, it's, a lot of people look at, you know, being first to market. you got to be first. got to be first. got to be first. Oh, dear. I'm tired of being first. First, first to market is just first to F it all up, right? Because you're blazing a new path that nobody's ever been and there's no playbook, right? Um, like something that, that, that we didn't, nobody realized is, is uh, uh, crypto is like super unforgiving, right? Dear Lord, when, you, when Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin were on the same blockchain, you could send Bitcoin, Bitcoin to a Bitcoin Cash address. Been there, done that. Um, you're not getting it back either. It's There's no customer service on the other side, right? It just works and it's completely unforgiving. So don't, it's, it's it, but you don't have to be scared. You just have to understand that uh, uh, when you scan that QR code and you send it, it's it's going there. Um, for, all, for all of you, it's, it's here's, I'll leave you, the, leave you thinking about this. How many times, for those of you who have used Bitcoin, you send send somebody some, some Bitcoin and then you text them and ask them if they got it. What makes you think they wouldn't get it? Right? <laughs> Was there ever? <laughs> and if they didn't get it, wouldn't they say something to you? Right. So that's one of the things that I guess I've learned in my old age is uh, is is to let go of the things that you can't control. Right. I've now sent it to you. I I'm sure that was the right address. Confirming it is just going to slow me down. Right. And uh, it's, it's you'll let me know if you didn't get it. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. That's it really is. It is. It's an it is absolutely beautiful um, thing. There's a reason, it's and there's digital. proof that there, and there's proof that I sent it to you. You can't deny that. It's on the blockchain. You everyone can on see it on the blockchain. It. That's right. Right. It's it, it's it's it, you can't challenge it. Yeah. Um. So anyway, uh, it's it's we started taking Bitcoin, and like I said, it's it's the first the first thing I did is the path of least resistance is going to be make payouts as fast as we possibly can. So I just I circled everybody up, and everybody at the office really is. They were like. For six months, they were like, okay, he's, he's still talking about this Bitcoin thing. He's still <laughs> and then after six months, they said, okay, this isn't going away. I literally had to go in and I said, this is not going away. We have to get good at this, period, done, right? Um, it's, and wow, can you imagine teaching people that, and this is back in 2012, teaching people to use cryptocurrency when there's, you know, just there's very few wallets, it's even more emergent, it's more new and, and weird than, than ever before. And you start off a conversation, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you, what you do is you copy paste that, that address, right? Uh, just go ahead and right click on it. What, what, what's right click? It's, oh dear, this is gonna be a hard conversation. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we've had, yeah, I, we've had conversations start out like that. Um, it's, 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 it's definitely coming around. It's, it's how long have how you been using Bitcoin now? Uh, just over a year, just over a year. Honestly, okay. I really started and, investing and, just over a year ago and started using it a ton over a year ago. And 
Yeah, it's it's, and I'll tell you what. It, the fact is, the fact is, is once you once you get into it and you've actually done a few transactions, boy, it just gets easy, doesn't it? Oh yeah. It's it's, and you know, do your friends a favor. It's, I literally did this. Uh, I don't know. It's, I guess it's been two weeks now. Um, a gentleman I met, he was in the finance uh, finance world, and he was uh, like seventy years old. And I got to rapping with him and everything. And I said, oh, so, so you're in the finance world. And, he, and I says, what do you think about Bitcoin? He's, oh, I don't trust it. I don't know about it. I said, <laughs> oh, you're a non-believer. I said, here, look, give me your phone. I, I went, I downloaded my Cillium, and I sent $100 to his phone. I said, I'm going to leave that right there. Um, and you're going to call me, right, because you're going to watch what it does. And you're going to have to know. Because if you come from the finance background, it will kill you. Two days ago, he said, fine, you've got to, we got to go have lunch and you have to tell me what this is. I can't stop watching it. <laughs> um, so and it doesn't matter if you do $5 or $50 or whatever. Just just anybody that's in the finance world, put a wallet on there, give them a few bucks and say, you call me for it. It'll happen right? because it, it just takes a little bit of time and for them to come around. Um, so what was the next big, next big? So taking it was hard. Like it's, it was because, again, there's no handbook. There's no instruction manual at this point. I mean, there's you just kind of do what you think is right. And uh, it, yeah, it was it was harder. Um, then the, I think the next big uh, move that we made was when we started correct, accepting uh, more cryptos. It's, it's we started with like 60 different cryptos. And um, I did that just because I thought, oh, dear, what if I'm wrong? What if Bitcoin is not the next big thing? And what if it does like go to zero or something? I should really give everybody an option, right? Because I don't want to be held responsible, right? If, yes, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm saying you should invest in this because that's the only thing I'm taking, that didn't feel right because I didn't feel confident enough that I knew, I knew what I saw, but I didn't feel confident enough to tell my, to, to force people to buy that, right? Um, since then, it's, it's, uh, it's, and you and I have had some talks about this. Uh, I, I don't even bother trying to keep up with all the different cryptos now. It's as as long as as long as there's a user case use case for Bitcoin, right? I'll definitely keep my eyes open, right? If I see something that is more exciting or whatever. But if, as long as you have to go through the same steps to get you know a dollar's worth of Bitcoin as you do a dollar's worth of anything else, the fact is is a lot of the a lot of the coins it's harder because you have to get you have to get Bitcoin then get to that those other coins. So it's it's in the, in the funnel of life, at the top of the funnel, the day the day that you can put a dollar and get directly those other coins, that's when I think uh, uh, Bitcoin would be at risk, mm -hmm. right? because um, people constantly talk about uh, it's it's that Bitcoin needs to uh, you need to trade it you need to do this and, no it's it's, it's what you what needs to what needs to happen to make Bitcoin just just skyrocket the whole world right here I'm, I'm going to give you a secret. Ready? When somebody can, when you can, when somebody can take a thousand dollars that doesn't know about Bitcoin at all, and doesn't know anything about it, and within an hour can have a thousand dollars in Bitcoin. Hmm, that's not happening right now. <laughs> it's, it's 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 the technology is getting there, right? Um, but it's it's still too. Uh, too new, I guess, for a lot of people to to really understand. So we're still in we're still in its infancy. But the, it's it's the day that the day that the day that your grandma can can say, oh, it's, instead of putting five dollars in a Christmas card, she can get five dollars in Bitcoin and send it to you and send you a virtual Christmas card. That's when it's all we do one, right? Um, yeah, yeah, obviously, obviously, just obviously, just a matter of when, not a matter of if. Just a matter. Oh of yeah, when. No. And, and that's actually that's it's so true. You're saying this because actually. Uh, should I say talked with some friends lately that were very interested in investing in Bitcoin for the first time. And just like you said, it took a yeah. couple of days to get verified here and verified there and get this account going. And it wasn't just, yeah. like, oh, I just want to buy it now. And obviously yep. that's just it's, around the corner, but we're not quite there yet. Like you said, well, th there's not a, so th that's, I guess that's the, I guess that's the, that's the thing that that's one of the things that bothers me is, um, is for me is is the, from a crypto evangelist part of me is just introducing that guy to the to, to Bitcoin for a hundred dollars. That was that's that's a big deal, right? It, it's, I don't have any ulterior motive. That's not it's, but it's in the best interest for like indirectly, right? For both you and I, 
right? For everybody that holds the Bitcoin uh, to introduce new people. Uh, but so many people are short-sighted and, and they say, you know, it's, it's rather than introduce new people, let me go ahead and monetize the pay people that are currently there, right? And um, that's kind of, that's, that's exactly why I, I, I went the direction that I did with letting people take, continue to do what they were used to. And then I'll find those spots where I can introduce them to crypto, right? And uh, it's motivate them through faster payouts. Just turns out getting your money fast is a big motivator, right? Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I'm. I guess I'm. I'm uh, that's what. That's one of the things. You know, I, they can put on my tombstone. I'll say, yep, yeah, I, I did that. I'm proud of that. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, then we, we took 60 different cryptos, which was really interesting. We, we actually we, we took like eight percent more in in total deposits, like the day we took them, right? Uh, that's a big number. Like you, you know, to move the needle like that, that's a big, big deal. Wait, say that again. It was the day the day we launched and started taking sixty different cryptos. Yes. We increased deposits by eight percent. Oh wow! And never looked back. Right? Awesome. And from one day to the next. So that it's there was definitely demand. Right? Um, uh, it's it's and and people like their own choices. Great. Um, it's an accounting nightmare. But imagine imagine it, it, it's it's it's. it's First of all, just 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 accounting for Bitcoin to fiat, right? Well, you do so you do some trading. It's, there's something in there. Put it in. Put it into scale it up on a business. Whew, that's that'll make your head explode. Yeah. Right. And then right on top of that, go ahead and make it now sixty different cryptos, <laughs> sixty different currencies that you're that you're accepting. And you know, it's, what's the equivalent? It's equivalent to fiat because. All the new, all the, the the older technology that you use, it don't work with it. Like it's it's you have to build everything proprietarily. It's, it's all new. It's it's like for those of you who are in accounting world, it's it's like QuickBooks or SAP or whatever, right? It's how does how does how does Bitcoin fit in there? You want to go to QuickBooks? No, you have to turn it over into fiat and you have to translate it. Right? Well, but it moves since you translated it. Just breaks everything. It's um, which is also intriguing because there's opportunity. It's not necessarily that it's a bad thing, but there's definitely opportunity because we're we've we've we I know we have solved problems that most companies don't even realize they're going to have, <laughs> um, and that's cool. Uh, I guess that was that's kind of the Bitcoin story. It's, it's definitely it's definitely and the poker industry specifically has uh, really adopted crypto. And I think it's the logical the, the logical thinking of a poker player, right? Like you take a line and you say bet, bet, jam, or you can you can take the range and you can break it down and you can figure out, you know, you can try to figure out at least a, a, a more narrow and narrow range, right? Of uh, what your opponent has. And I think that is that logical thinking that attracts poker players to Bitcoin, right? Um, that and there's some DJ in all of us, you know, of we course. like to watch it, you know, we like to watch it move. Uh, uh, but I think it's, it's, that's, that's what gets, gets you to the understanding, right? Is you go, Oh, I can, you, you see those steps. Okay. This goes here. This goes, ah, and if you're not, if, if for anybody who's ever tried to teach somebody poker that, um, it's, that has no idea, nothing, no, knows nothing about poker. You have to have some kind of, logic to what you're doing right and it's hard it's 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 the same as 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 cryptocurrency teaching somebody that um i guess it'd probably be easier to teach somebody a little bit of poker right and then teach them some bitcoin <laughs> yeah i'll say I'm not, I'm not sure which one's easier at this point but uh yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's at least at least there's books at least there's books on crypto <laughs> on, on, on poker like that's it's there's no teaching books and, and why is that? Why isn't there a bunch of, uh, you know, it's, it's Bitcoin, Bitcoin for dummies, right? Uh, maybe it's because it's decentralized. And there's no money in it. Hmm. Right. I think I, think I might have just ha I think I'm, I think you might have just given me my million dollar idea if no one else is listening in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's it, you know what? It, it's, it's it's hang around. I've got another dozen of them that, that I'm not going to use. Right. So I'll be happy to give them to you. <laughs> All right, great. All right. We'll be talking after the show for sure. Um, yeah, so yeah. When, when when you talked about obviously you said the first set of guys that pitched Bitcoin to you for the first time they just didn't quite word things right 
And then the second yeah. guy came along a couple years later when Bitcoin is just a little bit higher to say the least. And he presented it in a way where you're like, oh, what? Yeah. And, well, it's, and it's, then obviously it's, you started investing in Bitcoin. At what point in time did you say to yourself, I really think that this could become really adopted by the world and become, you know, mainstream down the road. When did that? Like, like hours after he put it on my phone, right? <laughs> I, I felt really strongly about it. Not, I, I'll explain, I'll put it in words like this. Um, so it's, it's everybody's heard of like, you know, Swiss banks or the Cayman Islands or whatever, but it, it's point out, point out in history. Anybody in the chat can go, I'm, I challenge you. Point out in history someplace that the very wealthy could put their money, right? And uh, it's uh, that was not successful. They could put their money, had control of their money, and it was not successful. That doesn't exist, <laughs> right? Because you know that's why the Swiss banks, that's why the Cayman Islands, that's why uh, I saw something on Netflix that where you know they, they've got these big warehouses in. Uh, uh, like on, I can't remember what it's called, but it's big warehouses with art and everything. And, and you put it, you put it all there because it's like in, in a limbo place. Well, that's, that's where the very wealthy is. So they don't get taxed on it. Right. So they don't get crushed. And that's where that's, that's, that, that's what Bitcoin's done, but it's taken it to another level because it's not, it's not. So for, uh, for us, it's not from, in my, in my mind, it's not necessarily just in, it's not invested. It's, it's, making making the money making the money move it, making the the freedom right we're like cardi b right making money move. <laughs> i knew you had to sing it one time you had to do it one I time to, i have to you had to do but it it's one time. true if it's you guys true. know phil he I, I i swear to god my life in the last week i did think to myself one time he's definitely gonna drop it and there it is that's that's the phil that i love <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 it's but it, the fact is is if you you know what you can have it's it's take up take you can have the greatest business in the world right um, let's say whatever, just insert business here. Um, if you, if you can't take customers, if you can't get customers money and you can't give them product, right. Then your business is dumb, <laughs> right? It, it's, it just is, it doesn't work. Um, so it, it's, that's what Bitcoin solves for like virtually everybody. Uh, I, at that point I said, oh my gosh. This is this is really going to work. This is this is serious. And I went down the rabbit hole for oh, a long time. And, and, and it turns and out I started. This? What what year was this? This is 2012. 2012. Wow. 2012. Yeah. Insane. And dear God, it's it's I was, I started getting into trading and it kept I kept making money and losing and having less Bitcoin. And but I kept making money and I, I I knew I was doing something wrong, but I couldn't figure out what. <laughs> <laughs> Until a buddy of mine says, "Phil, you need to be trading, to, trading to Bitcoin. You want to, you want to earn more Bitcoin. Don't forget, forget about the price. Price doesn't matter. Right? You know, you already believe. You already know it's going to get there." I went, "Oh, that's different, <laughs> right? Because I never. I mean, I don't have any experience in trading. Like, like it's it's it's." Who am I? <laughs> I just Phil, right? Uh, it, it's. And, and it was it was all just learned that it's trial and error right um, and now now I'm better at it, right? it at least uh, it's, it's I don't even bother uh, looking at all the other coins and everything because that's not where I make my living it's, I just want to deal more cards I want to make uh, make great poker right? um, and that's where I think a lot of people miss it right? is uh, when you talk about nfts right it's it's, it's I did that the whole deep dive on FTs and I talked for somebody for about half an hour and I'm really passionate about, Oh my gosh, this is, and they, and so they say, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And half an hour later they say, so what do you think the next big NFT is? I'm not talking <laughs> about, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the trade. I'm, I'm talking about the, 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 the concept, the, 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 You're thought about the overall ecosystem of NFTs. Yeah. Not, the overall not ecosystem. Which, uh, yeah. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand why the, the the, the the crypto bunnies or, or it's the only one I do understand is Zed Run. Thanks, Chris. I have a lot of horses and I have issues selling ever. 
Zed run. Horses. Zed run for the win. <laughs> They're my horses. It's. I mean, how am I supposed to ever sell the Michael Longcar horse? You how can't. am I ever supposed to sell the goat Phil Nagy? Like, I can't, <laughs> right? It's just never going to happen. So I'm stuck with them forever. Got like 106 of them. It's awful. That's awesome. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's, 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 you, you take, take a step back and, and so many people just put them, it's, it's well, it's, it's, it's self-interest, right? <laughs> where, where do I make money? What's in it for me? Uh, it's, and, and you try to get up to that, you know, that next level up there. And uh, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy to get to get up there. Uh, anyway, um, and I will just keep rambling unless you kind of push me in a direction because <laughs> there's a lot of context there. They, they, they were talking at the office the other day. It says, okay, we got to start, we're going to start doing this. And um, we're going to have to start, you know, documenting this and uh, putting it together. And so that somebody, just so that new people show up can binge fill. And I said, oh, I love that. That's great. Because uh, it's, it's really like you take cryptocurrency or poker or, or, or business even, right? Is you ever, you ever watched Lost, the TV oh show? Oh, my God. That was one of my favorite shows ever. Yes, Lost is Absolutely. Amazing. Absolutely great. Now, yeah. just, just close your eyes and imagine watching the first season of Lost and then the fourth season of Lost without the little story so far. Oh, my God. What's going you on? You have no idea what's going on. What is going on? Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, you, and you have no chance of... And that's that's how fast technology is moving right now. So how do you how do you onboard new people? How do you onboard this new stuff and give them that story so far when you've been doing this for 20 years and it's just second nature? Yeah. Oh, that's tiring. Right. So uh, that's one of the things that, that, that we're working on is just having the conversations like this. I've, we've got some people documenting it and then putting it in a smooth, coherent thought <laughs> because I'm a little random. <laughs> right. If you haven't noticed, uh, it's now when you mash them all, when you put them all together, right, there's definitely some non-zero intelligence there and, and, and some non-zero experience. Uh, it's, it's, am I, yeah, I, I guess I'm just, I just feel like I'm a guy, but at the same time, I, I guess I have kind of been at the forefront of a lot of this stuff. Oh, but you're, you're big time pioneer. You're big time pioneer. Obviously, obviously, uh, you know, America's card room is your baby and, and you've, oh, sure. you've nurtured it and grown it up into a strong, a strong and, and you know uh, creature. I, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, for, for, for those, for those of you two years ago, when we moved softwares and we were crashing, crashing, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you MF'd me an awful lot of times, Mike, right? It may, may have been behind closed door. <laughs> I know it had to be frustrating, but we wouldn't be where we're at right now if, if I didn't, if I didn't do that, right? It's, is you have to, you have to, that's, that's the whole, that's the whole development loop is you start with, start with, yeah, you get a bunch of experience, you throw away everything and you take all that experience into the next evolution. Right. And you just happen to be there for that evolution. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's been awesome to be on, on the journey of America's card and from my, you know, personally yeah. for the last, it's been, geez, almost four years now. And yeah, and I don't, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but have you seen how much faster these things are coming out, and how much smoother they're coming out? Oh yeah. Instead of you know giant disasters, yes, we 90, 96 people were semi upset at us, but we just couldn't see that coming. And the next week, there was not it was flawless. Um, again, when you're doing stuff brand new, there's no handbook out there. It's it's you're on your own. <laughs> Uh, so it's, it's, we try to, we try to fail fast, right? Uh, because failing slowly is painful and expensive, right? And we fight, try to fail in small chunks. That's, that's a little bit at a time, right? Um, right. seems to be working so far. Uh, what else, what, what else we got? So talking about moving in the, in, you know, kind of getting the direction going here, we're going to take a really quick break. Sure from a sponsor you might be familiar with, Phil. You might be familiar with our sponsor here on this break. But guys, stay tuned. We have a lot more awesome stuff to talk about. Of course, we're gonna talk some more crypto, 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 Bitcoin all time high today. Everyone's talking about it. Get used to that. But, I'll even tell you where I think it's going. Yes, we will talk more about that, where Phil thinks it's going. And I'm also really looking forward to hearing this guy's ultra beginning story, pre-America's Cardin days, 
pre-Costa Rica days. We'll be right back with all of that in just a second. There are those who play the game. And then there are those who pour blood, sweat, and tears into every hand. This one's for the fighters. Progressive Knockouts at America's Card Room. All right, we are back. We are back. And again, thanks to all of you for being here tonight. This is a lot. I love the stream so much. It's already been so much fun. I'm having a great time tonight. Again, thanks to all of you for all the support, all the love. Again, Mr. Yeah. Bill Nagy. Thanks, for, thanks for showing up. And, yeah. and like I said, it's, 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 uh, if, if I ramble on too much, you say, hey, get, get moving, Bill, because I have a tendency. Um, and, <laughs> you and ramble? Appreciate no. Oh, yeah. Don't, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> never, never, never. It's, so let's. And, and you, at least you know this isn't scripted. <laughs> there's no script up in here you guys know that we're we're live we're doing it we're flowing we're going we're going with it and again thanks to all of you being here tonight so phil i want to move back i want to take yeah. a step back because i okay obviously i've heard i know most of this story I'm go sure way I'm back sure i'm sure I'll learn <laughs> things i didn't even know but bring us way yeah. back before oh, let's see Cardum is even on your mind bring us back oh, to dear. uh you know full-time poker player full-time poker player no ceo phil Nagy. How yeah, so. you evolved into the CEO of America's Card Room and any stories that you think are worth sharing along the way? Sure, sure. Well, it's, it's this is, I mean, I guess, I guess I really got, I started playing poker back in uh, 98, 99, 98. Um, and it's, it's, I guess I started playing online poker, 98, 99. I played some live poker a little bit before that. Uh, learned to, the first game I learned to play was Big O High Low, Limit Limit Big O High Low with Kill Pot. We used to play three six down at the Players Club in Ventura. And in Ventura, boy, I had, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was born and raised Southern California. It's it's Sox South Oxnard. That's where I was born. Um, and uh, it's, it's from there. It's uh, I I had started my well. Here's an interesting. I I haven't had a job job right. Um, since I was 19 ish, um, I've, it's, I've just run my own company, right? It's in one, one form or another. I mean, that's exactly huh? the age since I was 19. That's awesome. Yeah. It, it's, 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 it just, you know, I found that, you know, working for, you know, somebody else just, I could never do what I wanted to do. Right. So, well, why, why, why do I have to work for somebody else? I just started doing what what made money and that, and I, and I've always been good at finding, uh, at recognizing opportunities. And I think that comes from, that's, that's why I like poker so much because that's, you can, you can just keep learning poker and keep, you keep finding those opportunities. Um, and so let's see, 2000, I used to play on, uh, uh, paradise poker and planet poker right yes. way back. Paradise. Awesome. Um, and it, it, it's, it's, we can get back to that, but, uh, it's 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 interesting to see how how they didn't succeed, right? First to market is not necessarily a win, right? This is this you know poker stars was tiny, right? Uh, it's it's the fact is is is, is I I know that you know way before uh, when the party monster when party poker was so big, you know everybody else was starving, right? um, and there was there was times where I, I it's that I believe poker stars was selling pieces of their software, right? Trying to raise money um, for like $10,000 for a percent. Oh, wow. Can you imagine? Oh my you know how many they sold? How many? None. Really? None. No one wanted to buy a piece of, of no one. Poker? No one would take it. No one would take it because it was, it was, it was super tiny, right? Wow. It was, it was, you know, just mom and pop shop. And it was, it was all, everybody was about, you know, party poker and, and uh, it was party poker and on game, right? You're at poker Yeah. And, uh, it's, it's the, the, the big network. And, uh, that was, that was some days, right? It's, it's, and again, it was an emerging market and it was so new for everybody. Uh, I saw it. I said, yeah, there's going to be opportunity in that. So when I saw the online opportunity, I had already built uh, a newspaper business, right? I used to, we used to, I had, well, 
I want to say close to 300 people. It's the biggest contractor for the Los Angeles Times, Ventura County Star, Denver Post, Rocky Mountain News, and uh, was just branching out into the Atlanta Atlanta Review Journal, I think it was. Um, and uh, we was a big circulation company. Well, when you think about it, I, it's because I started selling the newspapers door to door. And I said, wow, if I can do this, I can teach other people to do this. Oh, if I can teach other people to do this, I can teach them to do it, to do it. Mm -hmm. Right. And <laughs> scaled, scaled myself out. Um, was it easy? No, but it definitely, definitely gave me the freedom to, to try new things and do what I wanted to do. Um, uh, it's, it's, so when 2000, I guess 2000 came around, uh, I went to my partner and I said, you know what? I knew this internet thing would do something. I think if this internet thing's going to do something, internet poker, I like poker. And if internet does well, then newspapers are probably not going to do so well. So in like 2000, I sold my half of the newspaper company to my partner. And he was super happy. He thought I was a moron. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now it's now sold we're laughing. So the top. Now now it's hilarious. So so basically you converted from physical newspapers to online poker. I would say that was a pretty good decision around the year 2000 In, or so. Pretty yeah, pretty 2000. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's and you know what? It just it just felt right. I didn't know I didn't know I didn't know about the technology. I didn't know about uh it's, it's, I didn't know. I knew that there was money making opportunities. Right. And I have to and I've always done what I enjoy. Right? So that was that's that's another uh, caveat of me. If I don't enjoy doing something, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. It's just it just doesn't exist. Uh, people people have told me and this is changing. Uh, I've been down here in Costa Rica for, I guess, what's it, 17, 20 years. Yeah. God, it's a long time. It is a long I'm time. old. I'm old. <laughs> I, I, this next year, I, this, this, this year, this year. Oh, my dear. This year, I turned so. No, next year. Next year, I turned so. 50. So, so, so. so. Yeah, it's the big so. Um, so, came down, sold my newspaper business, got into the online poker business uh, because I saw the op saw there, there was going to be opportunities. I didn't know exactly how to do it or what it was going to be like, but what I did know is I knew I could learn it, right? If, if, if anybody can learn it, I know I can. And... I guess you have to have the confidence in yourself that you can succeed at something, right? And I, it, I, I'm sure you, you can you can vouch for poker when when you look at becoming a professional poker player is that's a leap of faith when you start when you jump in and you say okay I I can do this right you know do you remember like, when you oh, first man, did that oh, my my parents are watching right now and I got to give a massive shout out to you mom and dad thank you so much for supporting your son I'm sure my mom especially wasn't like super over the hill you know super just jumping up and down oh yay it's not like it's not the same obviously it's like oh my son's becoming a doctor it's you know poker player it's it's, it's a got that stigma to it it's got that stigma to it that of that course. you're 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 a gambler yes right it's but it's not but but at some point at some point hashtag bad reg it can become gambling again Yes. <laughs> and you just, you have to pay attention to when it actually becomes gambling again. Right? Yes. Uh, it's, which is, which is, it's now you, now you have to do that self introspect and you have to say, okay, am I the dumbest person alive? Have I let things pass me by? Right. Uh, what's, what's right. What's wrong. And it's, 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 that's how you find the truth. And it's hard. It's hard to hard to do that self analysis. Right. I know I get stubborn sometimes. It's and oddly enough, I guess as, as I got older, it's it's I've been less stubborn and more flexible, which is like completely backwards. Right, and I usually um, get older, you get a little more stubborn, right? But yeah, yeah, it's old dog new tricks. It turns out it's it's I really like new tricks, <laughs> so uh, it's I gravitate to them. Uh, so then, two thousand, I was I was playing on. Um, well, I played a little bit on party poker, not 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 much. For some reason, I didn't I just didn't dig it. Right, I didn't uh, I didn't dig party poker a lot. Um, but I did, I did play on paradise poker and, uh, it, oh, I'll never forget. I'll never forget is when true poker, that 3d software, right. Remember the, like with the up and down, when I saw that first came out, right. Um, I was like, oh my God, how are we ever compete with that 3d <laughs> software? It's there's people in there. They're saying fold 
oh my god <sighs> i was wrong and i did I, it's, it's it's that was that was the 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 maturity level of the, the software portion of things that i didn't understand right uh, it's, uh, at that point you know i was just looking at the <laughs> looking at what what the, the surface and uh so then I, I played poker for a while i actually had i, I looked at uh my what was it, it was, uh, three year plan no I, this was one year plan my wife and i sat down uh, met the love of my life down here uh it's, my wife and I sat down and said, you know what, let's write down our goals for this year. And one of my goals in, I gotta say it was like 2002, 2002, 2003, um, was to be a 5, 10, 10, 20 reg on stars. That was, that was, that was what, I, that's how passionate I was about it. Right? Um, this is the stuff I love to hear. I love to hear the poker, you know, yeah. You know, I remember, cutting your teeth, oh. making a living playing poker, like, uh, this is the stuff I love to hear. Continue, continue. Well, I, it's, it's, I, I, also, I also had, you know, it's, it's, I never, so I never had, the, poker was never my sole, sole source, of, source of income, right? Um, it's, it's, I always had, you know, it's, it's work, but at the same time, it's poker was the majority of what I did. Um, and then... Uh, let's see how did that. So let's 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 just back it up really quick because I'm sure. so curious. Sure. The, the thing that I, I want that's piquing my interest so hard right now is that you sold the newspaper company. Mm -hmm. How and why did Costa Rica come about? Who did you connect with? How well, did that idea it's, form? It's, this is gonna this is gonna, this is gonna sound bad. This is gonna sound bad, but it's it's just it's just the truth. If it's the truth, um, it's the, okay. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's the fact is is I started looking at because I didn't know anything about development. I didn't know anything about you know. It's, it's, yeah, I was, I was dumb as a rock. And, uh, so I says, okay, let's, let's talk to, let's find some software companies. Let's build poker software. It turns out, you know, when I got some quotes, it's, it was like five or $6 million to start. I'm like, well, that's not going to happen. So let's, let's follow the logical path. Okay. I, well, I still want to do poker. It's too expensive to start software. How do I get this done? I, well, you know what? There's got to be, if there's some successful poker sites, there's got to be some failing poker sites, right? Found America's card room. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, it turns out they were a little tiny poker site and it's, it's, they, were, they, they were crashing and, and had software issues and uh, so on and so forth. And I got into it and it got so frustrating. It's, you, those of you can, that uh, are at the Google machine, obviously are, um, it can look up, it was, I want to say it was 2004 or five when, uh, paradise poker sent, uh, like $3 million to the WPT and the it's, it's to no, no, the, uh, the TV show, the first, uh, uh, the, uh, yeah, it was WTPT, wasn't it? Right. Anyway, um, the TV show on the Travel Channel. God, I don't know why I can't even think of the name. Um, World Poker Tour, they, right? World Poker Tour on it, Travel Channel. Yeah, I guess they, yeah. I guess it was World Poker Tour. Yep. Um, I don't know why I wanted it to be something else, but so they sent like three million dollars, did an exclusive contract with them, and that's the the U.S. government said no, you can't do that, and took their money. Right. Well, that was literally two weeks before I was starting. I was getting in my own business, right? And I had already set up a deal with the Travel Channel. Right. And I was when, when I found out that they were they were going to return, they were returning my money because they signed this exclusive deal with with uh, 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 Paradise Poker. And now I said, oh, God. So they're returning my money, but now I can't advertise. So how the hell am I going to get customers? And I started to panic. I said, wait, stop. Just take a step back. Well, everybody else is in the same boat as me. Where's the opportunity? Right. It's, do, do, do you do that, Mike? Like when, when you when you it's it's when you get all stressed out and you know that there's there's a whole bunch of people doing the same thing. Is take a step back and say, okay, don't do everything everybody else is doing. Take a look at it and and what what can I do different? What can I do different? Because that's that's a, that's, yeah, that's, if, that's, a, that's a great quote right there. What can I do different? It applies to so yeah. many different things. And when you're trying to help others, absolutely, is is it's, it's, that's it's it's like. I mean, in, in, like in poker, it's, it sounds stupid, but you have you have three choices every time. You can call, fold, or raise, like every time. And uh, it's it's a lot of people don't think about all three decisions. 
Well, what I try to do is I try to think three times and act once, right? Is solve a problem and then I'll start, try to solve it three times and then I'll see which one fits the best. Um, it's not all the time that, that the one that fits the, the, that your first instinct is right. But if you spend a little time thinking, a lot of times that second or third one, that second or third iteration of uh, solving a problem, it be, it's, it's way, way better than your first instinct. And so many people stop at their first instinct. Again, just like the poker player, right? It's, it's I mean, there's, there's spots. I, I mean, I've watched you on Twitch. There's spots that I, you're raising for value here. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's just, you should be checking. The, but, it's, but it's that next level, right? It's because you thought you thought it through. Um, it's and that just comes with if, if you apply that if you apply that that study and that work ethic to all all of life, gosh, it just becomes easy. Right? Um, business is easy. People are hard, right? Because people don't necessarily have a logic to it, right? Or you can't understand it because it's emotions are not necessarily straight lines, <laughs> and you can't really make sense of them. Um, Anyway, so it's it's what I did was I I literally I, they they sent me my money back and I says okay, well, how do they what do I need to do I need to get this I need to get this TV TV commercial on TV how do they do and I started doing some research and I started calling networks and instead of going directly to ESPN I started going to the local Comcast right it turns out I had no idea but your local TV TV station who serves you know a million people two million people whatever. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is they they get a percentage of that airtime to sell those commercials, right? Well, they didn't have a problem selling selling TV time, so I was the first one to put t- to put those commercials back on the on the WPT, right? Uh, which cool, right? Uh, it's, that's all you got to do is just you no know, drive a bunch of people, no, no, drive so many people, and the turn that everything just kept crashing. Right? So you bring up a bunch of people and it all crashed. And you bring up a bunch of people and it all crashed. <laughs> Dear God. And yeah, that was painful. It's And we've all, we've all if you've been with America's Garden for a while, it's, we experienced that. This is in like 2003, 2004, long time ago. I got so frustrated and so angry. I Literally, I just threw my hands up in the air and said, fine. We'll stop doing the software. We'll, we'll just join, join the network. And it was the, the choices where uh, it's micro gaming and on game, right? And it shows on game. So now I've made that's that, that's that was my first real serious blunder, right? Oh wow! So uh, America's Cardroom was on the on game network. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, I didn't right. even know that. That was, was, was skin back in that back in the on game, and it's, it's so we were on we were on game, and uh, it turns out, and you can make a note of this. Uh, when you've got a high margin product like casino or sports and you shove a lot of people from that product into a lower margin product that is poker, how you ever expect a good result? You, you can't, but everybody did. <laughs> everybody, everybody thought, you know, all you need to do is liquidity. If you just get liquidity, you sell your soul for liquidity. No, selling your soul for liquidity will not do it, right? Uh, there's only so many dollars in a penny. Right, or so many pennies in dollar, and it's 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 so many hours in a day. The fact is, is, is you can't beat that. Uh, uh, you can't beat the math. Right, uh, higher margin product. Uh, so we went to on game, and dear God, that was hard. I mean, on game was wonderful. It's it's God bless them. They they did a great job with software and everything, but it really really hurt the rest of the business. Hmm. So uh, then Uega happens, right? And party poker pulls out of the U.S. and uh, uh, and on game pulls out of the U.S. market, and so now we have ninety percent U.S. players and no software. Oh dear God, what do we do? Okay, let's take a step back. Um, any idea? No, no. I said GG. <laughs> <laughs> I said Uncle. Right? I said you know what? Uh, it's, it's, they, they had made a deal with that. You remember that 3d software I was telling you about through yeah. poker, right? And they, they literally just, you know, put, put America's card room and not be mothballs, right? Um, it, the, the URL sat on, so I sat on the shelf for a number of years after that. And I said, you know what? It's, it's, and now I know enough about poker. Now I've played enough poker that, that this will not get you where you're going. 
right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I took a step back and started playing a lot more poker. This is now party poker has you know stepped out of the market. This is where uh, poker stars was the benefactor, and boy, they were good at it. Oh my God, it's the, the, the Scheinbergs and and it's. It's, we used to have a joke down here that that is is are you are you the smartest guy in the room? Stars guys here? No, I guess I can be. Right? <laughs> um, they just they just they just never made a mistake. And you know what? They were they, they were they they had the they had the player the player's best interest in 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 mind. Um, and I always admired them for that. It's it's and it was nice to it was nice it was good for me anyway as a as a businessman and as a poker player watching that business evolve, right? And uh, and and experiencing it. Right. Because I'm comparing it to my business, you know, and uh, it's 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 and there's it, here's words of wisdom, guys. It, you know, when in poker, you say you say, you know, if, if you can't spot the fish at the table, then you're the fish. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, if you can't spot the mark. If you can't spot what's best in class. Right. If you can't if you if you're in business and you can't spot who is the best at what they at what you're doing and recognize that, you know, then start comparing yourself to them, then you, you can't ever win, right? You, you have to, you have to have that benchmark. You have to have who is best in class. So it's, it's, that's where, that's why I started comparing myself to, uh, to poker stars, right? Where, you know, it's, I could definitely compare myself to, you know, whoever else, but for what? It's, I don't, it's, it's, I don't want to just feel like I'm winning. I actually want to win. Right. Um, so, I stepped, I stepped away from poker for a while and uh, started playing a bunch of poker. I started drag the bar. Um, I started another couple of you know, side businesses and um, and really had a great time hanging out with my wife a lot. <laughs> uh, we used to we used to go out to the club a lot. We used to, used to play a bunch of poker. And it was it was like maybe two years or three years that they brought me in some of the poker meetings and stuff. And I, you know, I, I give me free advice. That's that's just that's just how I've always been um, because the friends, the family and everything, the, the, the group. And, um, but I, I knew like you're just, it, you, you have, you, if you can't, that's, I, I spotted the mark. They, they weren't the best in class and they weren't gonna. So um, that was, that was a really, really good time for me to uh, take a breath because I had been running and running and running for a long time and, uh, and be able to uh, spend some time with my wife. Uh, from there, uh, for those of you who remember, when Doyle's Room was on the Cake Network, right? Uh, that is, it was uh, a rough time for them. Uh, it's, it's Cake and the, and, and Doyle, the management of Doyle's Room had a falling out. Uh, payer, players were having tough trouble getting paid, and it's, it's I'm sure like they can you know look at the Wayback Machine or whatever and see what happened. And um, they brought the deal that you know we should bring over Doyle's Room. Right. And Phil, it's, it's, we want to bring over Doyle's room. I said, well, let me look at it. Right. And, and it's funny that it's, it's, they were pitching, they're, they're pitching and they were saying, you know, so what we, we're going to, we're going to bring all these players back. We're going to, you know, move over to this new software. And we're going to, and I says, I said, how are you going to, how are you going to do that? What's going to be different on a new software? Why weren't you successful before? And you could just hear crickets. Hmm. Right. It's, it's, I mean, I know enough about, about business that you have to be, you, there's, again, words of wisdom. Be happy where you're at when you get there, right? And it's important you know where you're going because a lot of people don't realize they got there and they passed them by <laughs> because they didn't have a picture of what it was they wanted, right? Um, do you want happiness? Do you want money? Do you want what, what, what do you want? And you have to and you have to know what you're what you're shooting at to get there. Right? Um, it's it's and, and when you think back, you think back in life. If you didn't have a good idea of where you wanted to be, how the hell do you know where, you, where you, that you got there, right? It's it's you're either you're either setting yourself up to never ever succeed, right, or not recognize that you ever succeeded. It's don't do that that idea. That idea. So when they when they laid out the deal, I said, um, no, it's a bad deal. Don't do it. Right. And they said, no, we're gonna do it. And I said, okay, I, I didn't have a choice. And they says, and we need somebody to run the poker. Okay, so you're gonna take Doyle's room and you're gonna put it on this 3D poker software and you're gonna smash Doyle's room and, 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 and true poker together, right? <laughs> and 
So you got these, these two, two, two businesses that are net losing money every month. It's both of them. And uh, you're going to hand them to me. I'm going to have twice the employees that I need. I, I literally, I, I fired my heroes. You remember the Brunson 10? No. Anybody? No. Oh, it's, it's, go up, grab the, let me pull up the Google machine. I, I have to, I have to remember like who it was, but I literally, when I start naming these names, you're just going to go, Oh, are you serious? Right. This is uh, what they really went the like the Doyle's room online poker team, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, uh, I'm sure some of you don't know, even know about Doyle's room. Doyle's room, uh, was a big, moderately big poker room in what so, early 2000s yeah yeah it's it's it, before you wake up they, they had a, a a really big opportunity to to sell it and they decided to hang on to it and didn't really work so i know chris mormon was was one of them right yeah, was one of the in. anski was one of them uh uh oh gosh was, um uh steve gross right not jeff which i later on thought that jeff was steve but uh, that's that's a whole other story. Um, so anyway, it's, it's the first thing I did. So you take the take the businesses. Let me look at all the assets. What do we have? Right? We have a ton of people. We have this crappy software that can't succeed. Okay, so I do need to find good software uh, or better software. Just you know what? I just need to find software that has the potential to win. Right? I can try to figure that. I can try to figure out the rest. Uh, is just don't give me something that's absolutely doomed to fail. Um, and then I have to, you know, you start managing expenses, right? And sometimes, sometimes you have to go out on a limb to get the best fruit, right? And sometimes you have to prune the tree. Well, I had to prune the tree. And uh, so I personally called each and every one of the, 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 the Brunson the, the Brunson 10. So now I'm talking to, it's well, Mormon, right? It's, it's a gross, Anski, all these, all these big names. Alex and Relly, at that Alex point, Relly. Yeah, yeah, Torelli. Yeah, it's, Torelli it's, and I, I personally call I personally call them all and said, "Okay, I can't afford you anymore." And they're like, "What? <laughs> uh, you can't do well. I I can't afford you anymore. I didn't I didn't sign these contracts. I just got handed this. But I felt I had enough respect for these guys that you know it's, it's, it's I wanted to be a five ten ring. And then I'm talking to these guys for the first time and I have to fire them. <laughs> that was a suck, right? But if you want to do business, you have to make you have to make those hard decisions, right? So bridge the gap for me because I just I, I'm again my in, my okay. I should I should have brought this up a, a few minutes ago, but going back just a, again one one step back. Sure. So basically, you sold the newspaper company. You had the idea to move into the online poker realm, and basically you picked them. You how how did you pick America's card? How did, Basically, you looked at a bunch of sites and said, oh, America's Cardum sucks. Um, I'm going go go to I went to the old I'm school gonna... poker scout, right? And I went to the nut low and I says, okay, they're, they're, the, they're the bottom of the list. Right? So let's, let's, let's take a look and see where, see where that takes us. And uh, I got in contact with them. I started, uh, and I started working with them and started TV commercials and started driving a bunch of traffic. And I, you learn so much. Like, again, I, I, I'd never done any of that we had a, a <laughs> we had a so it's it's you've been down you've been down here to, to two of the buildings right of course it's up on the seventh floor used to be you know wagering right for for sports and poker when i got down here was you know four people including myself there was one other person right which we you know still argue whether he was here longer two days longer or me two days longer right uh one is speaking chicken little and um <laughs> yeah my boy it's it's love love long Anyway, me too. So we started TV commercials, and something happened with the poker software, and the 800 number would pop up. And it turns out that was during the NBA playoffs, and all of the seventh floor was full of poker phone calls for people who couldn't download the software. <laughs> so no bets could get taken. Uh, it turns out that was, you know, not they they weren't real happy about that. And so turn take that goddamn phone number off. Uh, so how, how did this happen? How, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to the bottom of this, Philip. This show is not going to end without me getting the answers to this. How, well, so 
Yep. No, so, so so on America's Card, so like how how did you approach America's Card? Uh, you guys really suck. You're the worst. You're the bottom of the barrel. Oh no no, I didn't say that. I, it's it's I literally I it's, I I talk I talked to uh, uh, the guy's name was Nick. Okay. And it said said okay, it's it's America's Card Room. Look, I have an interest in online poker. I it's it's I, I want to get in. I want to get into this business. And they literally thought that I was just you know. It's, I, and I came down in my white tea and dickies. Right. Because that's who I've always been. Right. And they literally thought that, I, that they thought, well, this guy's just going to blow a bunch of money and well, we're not going to do We're not going to do a lot of marketing and everything. So, yeah, cut a deal. OK, it's, let him let him spend all his money. Whatever. Uh, uh, I was smarter than the average bear. It's, but they. Well, it's, it's good when your opponent underestimate, underestimates you. Right. You, you know, you don't read. You don't lead with your whole hand. Um, uh, play with your hand face up until you get to know somebody. Yeah. So it's, it's, I knew that, that, uh, they, how was it? It's not that they wanted me to fail. It's just, they hadn't figured out how to do it. Right. And they didn't have the confidence in me that I could do it, but they were happy to let me invest my money to do it. Right. And I knew I had the confidence that I would figure it out. And I, that's, that's, Really, so, so so that kind of bridged the gap just a little bit when I yes. came down. So you you I, just you just you just literally went all in on the dream of oh yeah everything it's, it's, that it's, you've it's, made happen. Like there's you, no half measures in life. So you just said, right? okay, I'm going to make this happen. I'm just going to figure out on a whim as I go because I'm confident in myself. It's, it's, I can it's, see it's, I can it's, see how America's card room is, you know, falling short on a few things, and I'm just going to figure it out along the way on how to. Make things it's, right, it's, make things better, and evolve it. And we're just gonna go with the flow, just like we're going here tonight. We're going with the flow. I'm well, just gonna run with this and figure it out as I go and make it happen. And that's what you let's, do. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just equate it to a fast food chain, right? Is is this? You see, you see McDonald's, right? And they they're become incredibly successful. And now you just pull it apart. And how are they successful? And why did they become successful? And it turns out you can you can pull a business apart when you look at it. I mean, it's it's the the business you want to be scared of. Right is the business that you can't figure out how the hell make, make they make money because they're screwing somebody. Um, that's 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 the truth. That is you keep the keep that keep that uh, in your mind. Well, it was for me. It was just the same thing as you know jumping in and because deciding to be a professional poker player. It's the same thing, yeah, right? You just you're gonna, you're going to figure it out. It's going to evolve. Um, and it, yeah. but but you know if you're if you're committed to it, you just you go do it and. There's nothing to it but to do it. Now that that it's it's, um, I, I guess it's it's almost I guess it's a lot like cryptocurrency, a lot like Bitcoin. Is I just saw that this has a user case. If someone else can make money with this, somebody else can can do this. I, I have the confidence that I can do it. Right? It's with Bitcoin. Is if 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 I have a user case for this, I can see how people would how, how people would use this. That's why I have the confidence to just go all in. Right. It's it's it makes sense. Um, now, I don't go all in all, in all the time. Right. <laughs> but it's when you when you feel strongly about something, it's you roll with it. Right. Um, and it was it was a learning experience. And again, it was it was, it was back in the day. It, there was no you couldn't really pull it apart because nobody really knew what everybody was doing. Everything was done proprietary. There was no uh, uh, God. I mean, it's. PayPal, geez, I can't. It's, you used to, be, used to be able to use PayPal. That's how PayPal got started in the gaming industry. Did you know that? No, I didn't. What? Yeah, way back in the day, is PayPal got started in the gaming industry, and they pulled out of the gaming industry to go into the re regulated markets. Wow. Like, go ahead. It's a lot of it's maybe it's, maybe a lot of it's buried, but you used to be able to take you know ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars PayPal, right? No problem. <laughs> oh, wow. Easy so PayPal, PayPal's, Pay, PayPal's original use case was to fund that, online yeah. gaming sites. Online game, online gaming sites. Oh wow! Uh, I didn't it's, know that. It's, it's, even even when poker was way smaller, right? All the other online games, the casinos and sports and everything. Um, and then they, that, that that's where they got you know a, a lot of the capital, and they, they had higher margins because it was it was when it was. And after that, they cleaned up their data room. They cleaned up their, they pulled out of the, they pulled out of the, the gaming market and they, there you go. They, they, they went in to be at the, the public market. Oh, wow. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, I hadn't, hadn't thought about that in a long time.
Wow, yeah, that's, um, that's fascinating. I had no idea about that. Someone actually asked yeah. us to enter a uh, Twitch streamer. Where is it? Right there. There it is. Aspiring Poker Pro asks, does Phil own all of the Winning Poker Networks? I guess the better way to answer to ask that to you is, um, are there separate owners for each skin that's on the World Poker Network? And on that note, I'm, Not sure, even I'm, I'm, I'm sure there are some of you out there that don't know, when you log into America's Card Room and play, you're not just playing against America's Card Room players. America's Card Room is yeah. on the WPN network, the Winning yeah. Poker network. And on the WPN network, how many skins are there now? I think... Uh, uh, let's, see, let's, uh, let's see. There's True Poker. There's I want to say four. I, I, it's going gonna, gonna, gonna to be four because the four skins is just funny, right? <laughs> At some point, it's only going to be just four skins. Uh, let's, let's see. Black Chip, Yeah, uh, Poker King, America's Card Room, and True. Five. There's five skins, okay. I got to get rid of one. So I only have four. Anyway. I, I um, just want the four skin. So I, I yeah, guess that's there's, it. there's separate owners for the skin? Uh, there was originally. There was originally, right? Um, originally, Doyle's room was, it was Doyle's room that got rolled. All the players got rolled into America's car. But that's, you know, a little later in the story. Um, it, it's, it's that it, when, when I started, when I started the network, there were a bunch of different partners. And I just, I found out that I, I can't, I, it's, it's, I can't, I had to be the king of all poker, right? Is, is, is everybody else just slowed me down and frustrated me because we weren't like-minded thinking. So uh, it's, it's as, as the, as we grow, right. It's, I bought them out or said, bye bye. <laughs> um, and it was solely so that I could make my own decisions and I didn't have a board of directors to answer to. Right. Because all that did is, is, is none of the board of directors had the experience that I had. Right. It's, it's all these smaller skins. And they're, they're not they weren't even the truly partners. Right. Because we were running the network. But it's, it's uh, they were like super affiliates. Right? And then, again, you take a step back and say, OK, it's it's I got to I got to own my I got to own my own business at the end of the day. Right. It's uh, we have to we have to get to that point. Little by little, we did, and now we. It's, it's winning poker network uh, is is worthy. We're the we're the only the end all be all, right? This and uh, and people ask me, you know, why don't you add, add other skins? No, I don't even want to add other skins. It's it's I have aspirations to do is have uh, one one winning screen name, one winning screen name, right? Just as you can you can play on any skin, don't matter, right? You sign up an account, but you get one winning screen name. And why is one winning screen name important, Mike? You tell me. Because for the players, right, it's, it's having only one winning screen name and not being able to go to different skins on different days, right? That is, is it gives the potential for, for, for us to work a whole lot harder and find fraud, right? And, and, and historically, it's, you know what, I'll have to, we'll have to look this one up, right? But it's, I did some research on, on poker, and poker has risen and fallen four times in history, I want to say. I think I want to say it started in France way, way back, right? And, uh, and then, you know, kind of disappeared. And then there was the Wild West days, right? And then that went away. And then there was uh, the, early, the early days of the WSOP, right, that, 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 with the Jackie Chans and Doyle, um, it's, it's where, where it rose again. And, uh, and then with the, the rise of Chris Moneymaker and online, right? Um, this, it's the, the, the downfall to uh, poker every single time. Guess what it was? I'll give you three guesses. First two don't count. No. Um, it was the players is, 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 is cheating the other players. It's from the ace up your sleeve in the cowboy days to way back in France to having, you know, making their own cards and you could, you could see it and, and players cheating other players. Right. And to uh, it's the, the high stakes games in the, in the smoky, smoky bars, right. That everybody, everybody knows those stories. Right. And it's, it's collusion. And, and, and that has killed poker three times, four times now. Right. And I says, it's, it's, it's okay. So that's killed poker four times. Yeah, I gotta own all these skins. I gotta, I gotta put it in. I gotta align my interests along with the poker players, right? So that we can, so we can get this done. So, so we can keep it alive forever, right? And uh, it's, it's. That's. I don't, I don't see a lot of. I don't see a Maya thinking like that. 
right? I, I don't see a lot of companies thinking like that because you know what? Um, I want my son to learn poker, right? Is I want to sit there and teach him. I want to sit there and go down that thought process with him. And, and, and yeah, it's, I want to share that with him and my daughter too. Right? Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, and it's, 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 if you don't want to teach your kids poker, then, then you don't, uh, it's, uh, then, then if you don't want to teach your kids poker, then you're probably gambling. <laughs> Whew, that was deep. That was right? deep. <laughs> that was deep. I just, I, I just, I, I just said, it, uh, like, now look at the thought process, right? Is that's, you know, how I got there, right? You're watching the line. I just said that for the first time ever. Right? <laughs> if you don't want to teach your kids, you're probably gambling. That's right. right. That's, and, and you know what? I don't want to teach my kids to gamble. I want to teach them to be poker players, right? And it's what I need to do is I need to make sure that things are safe. And somebody had mentioned bots. Yeah, somewhere somewhere along the lines, you know, bots. But that was it's, it's there's a misconception there. Players ran the bots, not not us. <laughs> it's now it, it's it's it, it, and, and and maybe so. I, I God, that was a rough time. It's it's when 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 Joey came out and, and said you know about bots, America's card, and everything. The first thing the first thing that happened was I was so hot monkey tilt right and so angry that I you know what I stopped listening. I didn't I I I I, I became that hashtag bad wreck. Right? And people were saying that hey Bill, you got to look at this. Was, nah, no. <laughs> and it took me like it took me like I don't know three or four months. Maybe, maybe, maybe five um, to say, God damn it, Phil. Uh, yeah, oops, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta address this, but when there's no half measures here, right? Is we gotta go, we gotta go to town and we gotta do it right. And we have, right? Um, but it's, it's, and, but at the same time, I wondered that so poorly, right? That it definitely tarnished our reputation, right? And, and gave us that, 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 stigma right for you know it's a long time fortunately poker players they're kind of fair weather fans right it's they go wherever the game is <laughs> so they clean things up and launch bigger games right it's it's it, you have it you know the, it's the million dollar sundays and everything else and it's, it's you know, we, we won't involve our fair weather fans we'll say they're very forgiving and so yeah so i, I just want to touch i just want to like clarify exactly what you're talking about because i know i've got uh some relatives watching and you know they're not super into the online poker world like we are yeah so what phil's talking about is there is uh, a youtube vlogger very popular joy ingram he came out with a big thing it was about three years ago now four years ago and america's card no, has a ton that. of bots and there's a ton of collusion and cheating going on it was it was big big news at the time and I had I had like kind of just got into streaming and just got into ACR and yeah. the number one thing that I always got messaged on during that time period and the, the the first thing even to this day some people don't understand what a bot is people oh. instantly think okay. that a bot is some type of program that can see everyone's whole cards at the table and that knows what the flop in the river is going to come out. And that is so far from the truth. That is not what a bot is. Imagine, imagine a trading bot. bot. It's a, a trading bot. A you trading can use bot. So imagine I were to write a code of a bot to play exactly like I do. No, no, it's, it's crypto trading or stocks trading. There's bots that, that they do that. They're automated bots. So now I, you know, every time I, I could basically, basically people are writing codes to, to, for bots to play a certain way with certain hands every time. Like, Someone raises, and, you have aces. And there could be, there could be the bad, bot be bad bots, because bad losing bots. Because I've programmed that way, right? So yeah. that's, that's all a bot is. A bot is a, a pre-programmed player yeah. who has is living by a, a literally a set of rules. And it's always going to play within a set of rules, which is how someone just asked a minute ago, how can you detect a bot? And obviously, well, I'm, so sure, I, I'm, sure, I, I wanna, I'm wanna, sure there's bot software with algorithms and... You know, you play well, a certain wanna, hand every single time the exact same way. That's yeah. going to show up in, I'm sure, algorithms and whatnot. And obviously, this came out, America, and just, just like Phil was talking about, he put together, literally said, okay, 
we this is an issue. We need to make this better. Literally now, America. I didn't. That was the first thing I said. I've seen it. I've seen it down there. I've seen it. There's literally an actual room, and it's the bot department. There's actually a department of people that literally focus on bots now, around the clock, working with software, trying to detect bots that are playing. You know, usernames that are playing. Uh, maybe I'm sure there's a number of ways you guys can detect bots. I'm sure the the easy. Oh yeah, was, it's, 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 oh, this it's, guy's on for 24 is... hours straight. Five days straight, and then I'm sure there's other algorithms as far as how they're playing. Why don't you Why don't you describe? Well, so, how you so from the, from from the from from my point from from the the, the business perspective, right? Uh, is is I said okay, we I gotta I gotta do something different. I, was, I looked at I looked so same the same thing. You know, you have you have three choices every single time, right? Call, fold, or raise. And uh, it's just the fact is is wow, it, it's. So I'm just I'm I'm looking at one of the one of the commercial bots, right? That's on the Google machine here, and uh, it's the fact is is it's not even, we're not even listed there anymore. That's how I, that's how I know I'm doing better. Because there's right? because there's a certain type of bot that doesn't even work on America's card room now because you guys have made it so it's just impossible for it to run. It's 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 we've we've, we've done so many things that that so it's it's follow the thought process here, right? Is I've got it's it's all these all these different uh, big companies right that are having the same problem right and they 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 have they're all trying to solve it the same way exactly what you're saying is they're looking to find individual people using this bot right uh, to do what they're doing I says okay that seems like a band aid it's just going to be cat and mouse over and over and over again right. Um, you know how, how you stop them is is you make it not profitable, right? And how you make it not profitable is you make it so that they break every freaking day, and you spend more time coding it and fixing it than you ever play any hands. And eventually, you just starve them out, right? So now I don't I, it's, it's, I didn't have to necessarily catch each. I had to just stop the bots from working and make them not profitable. And now I don't have to. Now I don't even have to. It's, I don't have to be, I don't have to worry about it because I know that there it's, it's more work to keep a bot running and then it, then it's worth. Um, and like I said, is it's, 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 it's proof is in the pudding, right? Is you look in there, it's, it's very, they, they just don't work with us because, um, we have, well, just on the surface, just on the software surface, um, because they, the, the, the way the bots work is, you know, they, they either screen scrape or they read the, 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 the little hand history stuff and this and that. And basically, we just came up with like, I don't know, 50,000 different combinations that the human eye can't even see, but it just crushes a bot. Right? So <laughs> I know, it, I know. It's, I'm, it's, I remember the little pixel. There was all the pixels. Yeah, I remember that. Remember, everybody, everybody hated that. And I hated it, too. But it worked. And it was a Band-Aid for a while. Um, and it's it's and then and then we we evolved and evolved and evolved and now that now they, like I said is is on any on any given table you'll have you know it's it's I, I don't want to get into you know exactly what they are but they're unique unique identifiers that happen at each table randomly right so maybe it's moving a few pixels here or this is it's it's changing the fonts there or whatever but it's not even something that the human eye even sees right it's small enough that it still you know screws the bot and. When that when that happens, we know you just sat out. You just bought. You bought, just bought in. Something changed. You just sat out. Oh, you're busted. Right <laughs> now, how Not many times? How many? Yeah. So so how many times you as the developer that's building these bots? How many times do you have to have a customer call call up and say, "Oh, they closed my account and I want my money back." How many times does that have to happen before you just say, "Just don't even service that place." Turns out, if I don't have to, if I don't have that problem anywhere else, it makes it easier. <laughs> so, you go 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 play with them, right? Uh, not with us. But it, like I said, is when I when I went to when I decided to go when I realized that this was uh, a, a serious problem, I says, okay, right? Uh, let's then we got to handle it. And we got to handle it right. right? And then um, on top of that, I says, as we catch them. Right. We're going to do we want to be transparent with everybody and we want to do uh, and, and we re do bot refunds. Right. Which we still do. Right. Uh, we don't we don't like 
make a big public scene about it anymore, right? Is we just, you know, refund the, refund the players that, that were affected. And we, we don't really catch what this I just, there's, there's, it's kind of like saying that the, the counterfeit money, right? You can't ever say that there's no counterfeit money out there. It's, you can't prove the non-existence of something. Um, what it's, it's, Hopefully, what it's it's when you when you go look at these commercial bots and you see that America's card is not there at all, right? That's got to say everybody else is, and we're not. That's that's like an indirect hard vouch, no? That's good, right? Of I, it's, no, it's, in fact, in fact, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, every every once in a while, I still get someone that's not really up to date with just how good ACR has tackled the bot issue, and I. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, it's kind of my belief now. I'm like, okay, you know, obviously there was the issue. It was public. ACR took note of it, and they ch they tackled it. And if you were to just say, I, I'm going to choose a poker site now, and my number one and my only decision as to which site I'm going to go to is which site is safest with the least amount of bots. I think America's Card Room has, has to be the pick now. It's, it's uh, I mean, it's, 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 I put, I put the link in the zoom chat. You can, you can look at it yourself, right? It's, it's that I don't, I don't, I don't own that website. Right. Um, and I, it's, it's all I did was just, you know, do a quick Google search and that's what pops up. So there it is with there guys. War, I, put, I just put the link in the chat warbotpoker.com. Um, there are a number of different bots. If you'll notice, they literally just don't even work on America's card. America's card isn't even on the list of yeah. possibilities it's for other other places are high security low security medium security it's it's i i wish they would put it just put our name on there and say don't fucking play there <laughs> doesn't work <laughs> doesn't work so just don't work right. obviously, obviously you know what i'm proud of that that's amazing that's amazing obviously right. i'm proud of that and and uh, it's, it's, i can i can i can now proud proudly say that when the bot issue was at its peak when it first came out and it was kind of honestly like right around the same time as some of the crashing that was happening on the site. Like it was not, yeah. it was not America's card room's finest hour to say the least, but Oh dear God. I can say this and it's, it's kind of surreal now, honestly, like, you know, like I know this is just like a 3d sure. set, but you know, here we are now on long car live and I can say proudly that I said this for a reason when it was happening. Yeah, uh, this will not be well, an that's, issue. That's, that's, so that's the, that's the other thing that this is, will not be an you... issue. I, I was saying that this will not be an issue in the near future because I know Phil Nagy, Juan Salazar, and I, I personally, I personally know these people, and I know who they are, and I trust in them that they are going to figure things out, make this not only a non-issue, but make it so that like, just as is now. It's actually ACR is the safest site for bots. And as I said then, and I'll say now, America's Card Room is on the path to become the number one poker site in the world. I believe number two right now, number one next. Because That's of the people the that are in charge of the company, you guys are awesome. I've always believed in you guys. And I just got to say thank you because I put my reputation on the line, obviously. I said, I said, I'm willing for to sure. put my name and my, my reputation on the line because of the confidence that I have in the people that run the company. So thank you to you and Juan and everyone else over ACR for getting my back when I put my neck on the line and put my rep on the oh. line. And obviously I did that I, for a good reason because I, I know who you guys are. I know you guys want to be the best and want to do everything legit and just want to provide an awesome poker site for people to play on and feel safe yeah. and feel feel good about. So thank you, Phil. I mean, it's, I mean it's, that. It's, no, I, it, it's, it's, the fact is, is, is to put your neck out like, like that is – that's that that means a lot to me and, and and when when something like that happens like you cannot fail right like yeah. like you just can't let you can't let your friends down like that like that's you right. just there's it's not an option there's only do or not do right yep. uh and it's it's and i'm not saying we're we're not done right we're still we're, we're still fight the good fight every day yeah right and, and we and we always will right um i don't know it's it's uh Oh, no. Yeah, so C. Kaiser 3 in the chat says, Long car, I remember viewers roasting you on stream and you defending oh, them. Yeah. 
A buddy of mine, Dave. Give, give me 30 says, seconds. I think somebody's trying to, somebody's at my door. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Phil's going to be back. Don't you guys go nowhere. Greatness awaits. So I do have to say, obviously, you know, just hearing, I, I probably, obviously I love talking America's card. I'm a love talking crypto, but like my, I think my favorite part of this stream with you here is I just, I didn't know just how maverick that you went from the newspaper in California to the Costa Rica. Like, I'm just going to go and present myself and make it happen. And okay, here I am now. And now I'm just going to like go with it and learn and, and make it work. And I trust in myself and my abilities. And that's something I've always admired so much about my own father is he's always been such a maverick. You know, he has not, he's never been, yeah. he's, he, from it's, well, I mean, my it, entire it, it, life, it, it, he's it, never been a nine to fiver. He's, he's been a real it, estate, a real estate agent, a uh, day trader on the commodities market, a uh, poker player. He's the reason I got into poker, you know, so same, same obviously reflection of you of just, I'm a maverick. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to figure it out along the way and I'm going to make some money and make it happen. You know what? That. It's, it's the, so the fact is, 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 is I, I even see it, maybe even it, it's not quite so, so maverick is if you've got the, if you've got the confidence and you can see that somebody else can do it, it's, it's about throwing your hat in the ring and, and, and joining competition. Right. And it's, it's, yeah, I was willing to go all in because I have the confidence in myself that I can get through the thought process that I can get there. And it's, it's, I can get there faster or better than anybody else. And, uh, and along the way, you know, it's, it's, it grows and evolves, but, um, you remember this, right? It's, it doesn't matter where you start. It doesn't matter where you start. As long as you get better, better, every iteration, you'll win. Cause everybody else slows down. Everybody else stops. Everybody else gets tired. No, every single iteration, we get better. Every single last, every single last sprint, we get better. And the, the fact is, is, it's sh it shows it's, the proof is the, the, the proof is historically what's uh, what's happened and that's one of the things that uh, that I've learned is uh, if everybody if everybody were to say from my perspective uh, from what I actually know not what I read on the what, what somebody said on the internet so I, it's because a lot of those people are saying stuff seeing things that they're they think but they, they haven't had that actual experience right. And from your experience, getting getting a hard vouch from you, Mike, like you don't take that lightly. And there's a lot of people out there that are the same way, right? And they, anybody who knows us knows, oh, they're okay. It is surprising though. Like the the the, the gaming industry is not. How do I say this? And I am not the best spokesperson ever. Not like no shot, right? It's 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 I'm too raw to 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 i don't know what raw I, raw is the word raw it's 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 i'm not i'm not definitely not everybody's flavor right um the the only reason that i became you know the, the wpn ceo in the face of the company is because i couldn't pay anybody else to do it <laughs> <laughs> i literally couldn't hire anybody else and i started going i started streaming on on twitch and do you know who the first person I streamed with was? Who? Joey Ingram. Hey, okay. Right? Why do you think I was so angry? <laughs> right? Because this is a guy, he had, he had my personal Skype. He had my, per he had, he had my personal uh, uh, cell phone. He could have contacted me. He said, hey, and, and you know what? Is, is I'm somebody that will absolutely pull with you. Right? Um, I don't even have any enemies. 
Like maybe, maybe somebody else hates me. I don't get that, that's their problem. I don't want, I don't have any enemies. That's too much baggage, right? Is I have friends and I have, and I have zeros, right? It's people that are, uh, uh, that I know and that, and, and, and zeros, that's it. It's, and it, it's so much easier in life than to carry all that, that hate and that baggage with you, right? It's so, yeah, that's, that's just kind of how I've done things. I don't know if it's right or wrong. It works for me, right? It's working. Um, it's working. Yeah. It's, it's, if it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But that's, that's, it's, but can we make it better? <laughs> yeah. I can get to know more people. That's, and you know, it's, it's, I definitely, I definitely go through, uh, uh, well, anyway, it's, 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 I try to surround myself with good people, right? Because I will, I will take somebody who is, is passionate that will learn right over somebody with a bunch of experience. That's, I, I give, give me, give me the franchise player. Give me the franchise player and they can grow with the company rather than, than, uh, uh, what's it called? It's, it's uh, not a franchise player, a hired gun, a free con, free, free agent, right? Um, if, if you're shopping around and you're only here for the, you're only here for the, the short term money, right? That's not, that's not how I roll, right? When we get into bed, right? We're, I get, I'm careful about who I get into bed with, right? But when we're in bed, we don't got, we don't get out, right? And I don't have to look over my shoulder and they don't have to look over their shoulder. They can trust that I'm a good partner. Right? Um, it's, and money is a byproduct of that. Great poker. You do, do great poker. You do, you surround yourself with good people and everything else just happens because it's, it's, it's not the, the center of when, when making money is the center of everything, right? You get corruption, right? Just want to deal more cards. <laughs> right. You just want to play poker, man. And I, I have to touch, yeah, on, I have to touch on what you said right there. You said surround yourself with good people. And this is something me and you privately talk about from time to time. Yeah. When you assembled the ACR team that we have now, the pros that we have now, I mean, you've talked about this, like myself included. I'm not, I'm not the best poker player in the world. Like I'm, I'm decent. I'm okay. But like, there's a lot of poker players out there that are just flat out better than me. That can beat higher stakes better than me. That can make hey, more it's, hourly it's, it's, better than me. But obviously, you know like you said, Everybody, talking about, you, talking about assembling a team of just good people, good ambassadors, people that are fun and entertaining and have personality and pizzazz and, you know, charisma and just bring people to them. Everyone yeah. on the team, everyone on our team checks off those boxes. And I will have to, I have to say this, this is something I can't say who told me this. I can't say who told them this, but I have a very good friend who's in Las Vegas right now. And he was talking with another online pro from another site who will not be named. The site will not be named. It doesn't matter. And they said, man, I have to tell you, like the ACR team and like the camaraderie and how everyone's like cheering on each other at the, at the punters pad right now. And like you see on Twitter and it's just like, we are a family and we, we, yeah. we push for each other so hard. It really is like ultimate team. They're like, man, over on blank.com, it's not like that. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing and it's not the camaraderie and the family you guys have. And you guys need to know how special that is. And it really is. That's what it's all about. And, said, and, if, and, if, and you know what? And it's, there's so much more to it. And, and awesome, it's awesome. Yeah. The team we've put, the team that you have put together, I think like you've always said, is just that good, we've good put together. Poker. Right. It's, 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 it's hashtag good for poker. It's a hundred percent. Right. It's, it's, I just, uh, and, and, and the day that it's not good for poker, right. The day that it's not, uh, uh, it's, it's plus EV plus life EV, then it, I'll change it. Right. <laughs> I don't, I, it's, I have no desire. Um, it's yeah, I guess it's, it's like, like, I, I, I just don't, I, I can't, I can't imagine it. So I don't know if you guys saw it on, on Twitter, right. It's, it's, I was, I was harsh on, on him. I, I was, I was, I was really, it got under my skin. That's and, a hashtag uh, right there. Harsh on Helmuth. <laughs> harsh on Helmuth hashtag. Uh, it's, 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 and I'll tell you what, I'll tell you exactly why. A, A, I know Phil and, and it's, 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 I played in a, in a private game with him quite, quite a bit. And, and he's really, he's really a good guy, right? He's, 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 he's not, he's not bad. He's not bad people. Um, it's, it's the, but 
what frustrated what frustrated me so much is I'm watching poker go, right? And I'm watching and the way he acted, I literally there's no there's no like warning adult content only on poker go. So I, I can be watching with my 10 year old son and talking, showing him, you know, hey, yeah, dad played with him. Hey, look at that. Look at that. And then Phil Farm, Phil Farm, Phil Farm can't stop. If I did that, I would get I got penalties. Oh, yeah. Right. It's, it's, it's if I got if, if, if anybody else would have done that, it, like it's it's and you know what? Showing favoritism like that. That's just crap. Yeah. Right. Um, and yes. it's it's and I called him out on it and I called him out on it and I said, look, right. It's, I understand that. Maybe maybe you lost your mind. Maybe 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 you tilted. Maybe you were yelling. But that's not the first time. That's not the that's not that's not even the second or third or fourth time, right? Um, it's 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 just it's it's his his why why treat people like that like like and why do we let that happen? It, and and you know it's it's people tell me not calling the kettle black. You know what the fact of the matter is is anybody who anybody who looked at that and didn't say something to Phil, didn't care enough about him or didn't like him enough to do anything. I knew I was going to get roasted when I did it, right? But maybe I get, maybe I get Phil to listen. It's, it's hashtag positivity, hashtag not, positivity. Not, hashtag, not hashtag positivity when it's convenient. Not hashtag I'm going to drop F-bombs on you 24-7. Right. <laughs> I'm tilted. And just in case, just, right. I, know, I, know, I know for sure I have some viewers that aren't aware. Phil Helmuth, just won his 16th bracelet last week. He's by far the record holder of the most World Series of Poker bracelets, World Series of Poker championships, however, however you want to word it. And he is known for his Phil Helmuth blow-ups, as they are called. And yeah, his last blow-up that just happened a week or so ago, right before he just won his 16th bracelet, like you said, I don't think Phil's bad people. I think he's good people for sure. I've had the pleasure of meeting him and talking with him and He's a good guy, but obviously it goes without saying, I wish, you wish, everyone that wants poker to be viewed in a certain way, we all wish that oh, Phil would take what. a step I back and realize like, wait, I'm not being the best ambassador right now for the game. And on the level that he's at, he obviously needs to take a step back and listen to what you're saying. Listen to what I'm sure a lot of people are saying like, hey man, you went too far. That's not good for the game. That's actually bad for the game. And that needs to be talked about. He needs to hear that. Well, it's and, and and Poker Go and whoever was running that should be ashamed of themselves too. Yeah. Right. How did they How did they let that continue on like that? Right. And and it's, anyway, it's it's I wouldn't have done that. Right. That being said, is uh, we're all adults, right? And we play online poker. And people ask me like it's, it's somebody it's it's we're 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 adults playing on playing online poker, so we can say like. Uh, one, one lightning lightning screen name is Phil Nagy's dog, right? And, Phil Nagy's dog. <laughs> so good. Right? And, 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 and I've had somebody I, I, in the offices say, you know, do you want me to ban this guy? Do you want me to, do you want me to have him make him change his screen name? It's, no, that's funny. That's super funny. That's maybe one day Phil Nagy's dog will run deep, right? Great. That's funny. That's, Phil Nagy's dog that's, running deep. You're right. Great. That, that's that's <laughs> hilarious. And, and it's, Lightning Booker, okay hey, he's in the chat. Lightning Booker's in the chat. Like hey, there he is. <laughs> right? What's up, man? It, it's it, the, the fact is, is I smiled and that's, that's awesome. Right. I can, I can appreciate a good joke. I can absolutely appreciate a good joke. Um, what came out, what came out of me watching this whole Phil helmet thing was, you know what, I guess I've always been of the opinion that, you know, if you're in a casino and you're an adult like, and you look in the chat and it says shit, well, it's, it's a casino. We're all adults and bad words happen. Uh, and I says, well, well, let me think about this. That actually, I guess that things would offend some people. Phil Nagy's Dong would offend some people. So we just, we scoped out this week, right? Uh, a feature that we will in the, in the, in the chat, we will have in the client, in the settings, you'll be able to go ahead and put your own dirty words that will be removed from the chat on, on you, you as a player. So the words that you don't want to hear, you just go ahead and pop those in there, and you, you won't ever see those words. Oh, so in the those, chat. you'll never see those words in the ACR chat ever by putting those words on your filter. Right. Once we okay. get that feature, you you choose which dirty words. You I like that. I like okay. that. And then on top of that is you'll be able to click on somebody's screen name and rename them, right? So if you don't want to see Phil Nagy's dong, then you see you know 
this bad boy, whatever, whatever you want to name it, right? And it'll be a visual thing just for you, right? And every time you log in, those settings will be set set in your computer, right? So that it's it's you don't have to see that. Okay, I can respect that. That's 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 what you want. But you see how I had to I had to get that thought process to it. Um, my mom and dad, I was really really rough to raise because because I said so never ever flew with me <laughs> that's not that's not good logic <laughs> um so you're just like you're just like my son you're just like my son josiah it's, it's he's the same way because i said so but why but why <laughs> no it's he's, that's, he's too smart he's too wise he's too smart so here we're gonna switch over real quick guys i'm sure. actually i know this is gonna be a fun time we are gonna go as we do every single week here on long car live we're gonna go into the chat time i know a lot of you have been asking for me and for me to ask Phil questions for the entire stream. Now is your time and we're going to start with first time chat from viewer. First time typing in to my chat ever. SSMS Forest is Phil. Appreciate all the improvements to ACR. Any ETA on the mobile app also. Small yes. Su- also small, small suggestion. Non PKO attorney min caches should be at least a double buy-in and make a separate reduced pre-flop time bank well um separate reduced pre-flop time bank that's interesting i'm gonna write that one down that's a good one i'd say it's it's it's, that's a good i just saw that that's That's, good for poker i I just went i just went through like like five steps in my head i said yep i can do that and that's and that's awesome i like that a lot a separate reduced pre-flop time bank because obviously and you know that would that that's a great idea right there. I like that a lot because obviously the uh, issue with the time bank is people stall out pre flop and you know fold wait, oh, yeah. wait a minute to fold every hand. Well, let's have a let's have a post flop time bank and a pre flop time bank. Phil got a little something here from today, no matter what. And also, yeah, I'm I'm obviously curious myself. Is is there any uh, any kind of inside info you can give us on a mobile app ET? I know I know you talked about it for me with me for a while in Costa Rica a couple years ago about like. You could yes. you could make it happen uh, so tomorrow, we're at, we're at, but you want to make it. No. You want to you want to make sure it's like really good when you launch it. Well, so so first of all, yeah, it's this this is you're diving back into Phil's crazy head. Right? <laughs> um, but it's, it's, uh, I don't trust anybody. Well, I have to know a little bit about something, right? And I don't know. I didn't know. Mu- I don't know much about mobile. Right? That's 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 the truth. And the fact of the matter is, is mobile is much more of an acquisition tool and a retention tool, right? And I, I had to make it, I had to make it make sense because it's, you know, it's uh, not cheap. So let me just, uh, I will show you this. And now we've been working on it. We've been working on it for a while, right? And da, 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 is it? I'm finding it right now, two seconds. Well, it's 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 the it's gonna it's gonna be the very best UI ever, right? Like, it's absolutely absolutely amazing, and um, it and it'll be work and it'll work end to end. And what my development team said was, look, here's what we need. We need we need uh, to wireframe it. So I said, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. So you know what if you know what you you know what you do when you, when you don't know what you're doing, right? You, you learn about it, and I wanted to learn fast, right? So uh, about four months ago, five months ago, I contracted uh, uh, three different companies to make me uh, the the mobile app, right? Okay. Okay. Um, and and I and I didn't give any of them uh, any direction, right? Uh, because I wanted to see what I would get from these three professional companies. And then I take the best of each of them and smash it together and make a better app. That makes sense so, so far. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, and I'm going to let's see. This is the only portion of it that I, I added to it myself right here. Can I can I share my screen with you, Mike? Uh, just send me a link and oh. I'll put it up on my on my okay. end. Uh, okay. Ta-da. And I will show you. This this is the first time that this has been seen outside of my office. 
Okay, let me get ready here. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, if you don't don't put the link out there, it's, that that would be. I then I'd have to take it down. And, yeah. All right. Um, but we can look at we can look at the, the URL. Okay, one second. All right, Justin Kelly showed me how to do this here. Uh, uh, I'm putting the pressure on Mike. Putting the pressure on me here. Hold on one second, guys. I like that time bank. That's good. I get it. It's, it's, you, can, you can even have the, the preflop, preflop time bank, and maybe only once you start using more, using it more often than, than it reduces or something. I'll talk to my guys. Okay. Uh, broken there we right. go. There we go. There it okay. is. Okay. So now let's 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 take a look at this, and let's go out, as poker players. Let's understand what we're looking at, right? Okay. So for the first time ever, right, when you go to any poker site, you can't see everything that's going on. You have to go click and on the different the different tabs and everything. So what I wanted to do here was I wanted to, at a glance you can see how many people are in Hold'em, how many people are in Omaha, how many people are in Blitz, how many people are in tournaments, how many people are in Sit and Goes. And remarkably, that looks a lot like your phone. So the UI will work just like your phone already does. You with, are you with me? Yeah. Right? So what you do is you click on there and hold them, right? And then down underneath at, at the bottom there, Mike, you can you can scroll to the next screen. Uh, so there's a little arrow at the, at the or is that a screenshot? No, no, down down below that. Like this? There we go. So when you click, there you go. So now when you click hold them, now it'll pull up. There's no limit hold them, fixed limit hold them, and pot limit hold them, right? Okay. And how many people? And then when you click one more time, it'll give you the list of tables in the whatever it is, whatever the game is. It'll work. It's the same. It's the same UI that's actually on your phone. So there's no learning curve for people. Nice, nice. New poker players, they'll already know intuitively know how to use it because it works just the way the apps do on your phone. Awesome, right? Isn't that great? Awesome. Okay. Well, we got something to look forward to with this. Awesome. Yeah. So that's it's. Uh, we'll we'll have. You can see we're doing some of the color designs. It's it's we're doing. You know, it's a lot of it's it's. But you have to you have to scope it scope it all out, get it all done. Um, we're actually gonna we're actually gonna do something that is I've never seen anybody else do, right? Uh, I don't know, the the tables to shots aren't there, but. We're gonna have it's it's so you got the table like this, right? And you'll be able to click one button, and now it's always like that. Or you can, you can rotate it, and you can play both either either uh, sideways or up and whatever, whatever you want. Nice, nice. So can if you can you, can you that? like six months, three months, two months, four months? Um, it's it's, <laughs> it's 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 now it's now complete, right? The uh, the all the all the different all the different screens that we that we have to have and the and the flows for everything. Okay. And now when I when I hand it over to my dev team, right? Um, they said it should it won't it won't be it won't be tough to wrap it up. Okay. Right? So what that what that what that means when when they say it to me that to me uh, soon I don't know what soon is because I mean I I don't have a crystal ball. It, it's but it's going to be it's one of our it's one of our top priorities. But we had to get this all done. Okay, right. well, it's looking clean, and hopefully, 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 soon means uh, next few mm. months. That'd be amazing. Either way, it's going to be awesome when it comes out. It's, yeah, it's it's but, but like I said, is is uh, uh, mobile's a it's it's a new world for us, right? You know, it's it's that's gonna it's it's gonna be like oh man, it's oh man, I'm, it's gonna be on for me when I can play on ACR on my phone. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be oh, yeah. you're gonna see me in a tournament non like literally all the time, like literally. My I'm, waking I'm hours, my waking hours. Let me pull on ACR once it's on the phone, man. It's gonna change. That's gonna it's, be a massive game changer. Let's go to Boston. When is the cage, Boston? Thanks for being here tonight, brother. When is the cage, and are you going to do a tournament to get entered into it? So, okay, so he's asking. Yes. Do you have any idea when the cage is coming back? Obviously, getting into yes, a little bit of COVID it's, talks, it's, and are you gonna run satellites yeah. for it on America's card room? Hundred percent, absolutely. I, I I invented the cage. I love the cage. It's it's uh, you know it, it's 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 like my baby, right? It's the it's, it's like the 
the game that I invented and the thought, like again, the thought process that went into why that, why the cage is what it is. Mm-hmm. I think it's just amazing, right? Uh, of structure. And that's it's when, when people come down, you know what? Maybe I don't get 500 people. I don't get a thousand people. I, I don't know how many we get now, right? Because it's been, you know, we're, we're a different company than we were a year ago, a year and a half ago. Um, is there any, is there, do, you have, do you have any, have you even thought well, about right now, right now, the, right now, the casinos close at eight o'clock, right? We're still in lockdown here in Costa Rica, mm. right? So it, it's, it's as soon as, as soon as the country will, will allow us, right? Oh, I will run to the cage as fast as I possibly can. Now, please, please give me detail because obviously I don't know anything. I don't know the diesel of this. When you say Costa Rica is on lockdown right now because of COVID, what does that There's mean? Curfew, curfew, at, curfew at 8 o'clock. And what does that mean? If you're out, at, that if means you're walking the you street have to at 8.30, be what happens? At your house. It's, it's like when you go out, when you go out, I, that's why I said, is there somebody at my door? Oh my gosh, it's already 8 o'clock. It's not, nobody's supposed to be out driving, right? You have to get special permission to go out and drive. So what happens if you're driving along and it's like 10 p.m.? What happens? Uh, you, you, you pull over and you get like a, it's a $500 ticket, I think. Oh, man. Wow. Right. And it's, it's yeah, it's crazy. So obviously, dot, 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 hopefully soon, right? No real way to know. Yeah. Hopefully, it's, hopefully it's, this it's, nonsense it's, stops. You, you, I, will, I, will, I will be the very first phone call that they make. As soon as, as soon as that people can go to the casinos and stay there till later than 8 o'clock at night, how stupid would it be to run a poker t- poker tournament if you have to go home at eight? Come on, the casino actually closes at eight. Like, so obviously they, the hotel is not running right now. There at the casino. No, the, the hotel the hotel runs. It's just everybody has to go to their room and nobody can be in the casino after eight. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, right? man. It's it's and and like I said, it's 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 where the the it's well, I mean, you get you guys you guys are in the states, first world, and we're like second. <laughs> it takes us a little longer. Right. So, so uh, yeah. my little brother in the chat. That's my little my little brother Jets. Kalen, what's up, brother? Literally, my little brother. Uh, he, me and me and so me and my little brother. For those of you that watch my stream, we have been so far down the rabbit hole of crypto for just over a year now. It's not even funny. I came and if we had a dollar for every minute me and my brother have talked on the phone about crypto, we'd be millionaires over the last year. My little brother asks you, Phil, what are your top five altcoins and i know he's asking specifically what are your top five altcoins in your portfolio because he actually asked me this exact question last night on our phone talk phone call about the, talking about you the top five the top five altcoins that what your top five altcoins in your portfolio right now like the top five your your you know the dollar dollar wise like the biggest altcoins personally you know, personally i hold bitcoin you you own and some altcoins. i know you own some altcoins no no, it's, 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 I, I stopped, right? It's like I said, it's, it's, uh, you sold, you sold, all your, to, you sold some altcoins. Yeah. yeah. It's, I sold, I sold them all, sold them all to Bitcoin and I, it just slipped historically, right? It's Bitcoin drags it all along. Bitcoin outperforms all of them. And you know what? It's, it's, I'm, I run a poker company. I'm not a trader. Right. And I, I again, I'm not really good at half measures. Right. So it's, it's now I, what I can give you some insight on, right. Is the top five altcoins, right. That people use. Right, is is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and Dogecoin? something else. The Doge. I think Dogecoin. That's, I, I guess I have to look again. I know it, it don't Ethereum, Litecoin, yeah, Dogecoin, and uh, Bitcoin Cash was up there. It's not up there. That's not top five. Cardano, right now. maybe. I don't know. Maybe I, it's, it's. Okay, it's so I'm gonna put you on the spot while. then. I'm gonna put you on the spot. If yeah. I absolutely forced you. To tell me like, okay, you've got five. You you have to you have to purchase five altcoins today. What would be your picks? Hmm. That's tough. Like I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you five million dollars. You got to put a million million dollars into five coins. They're not called Bitcoin. What five coins would you choose? Hmm. Curious to hear what you guys I'd, say about this. I, I, truth, truthfully, I'd, I'd have to. To give you to give you a real answer, I'd have, <laughs> I I'd mean, have no, to yeah. do some some user cases. And of like, course, of like, course. Like, you see, right, I, I'm, I'm dodging. Right here, I'm, you got, you got I 60, don't know. <laughs> you got sixty seconds, or you got sixty seconds, or it's lights out. Like hypothetical here, if you had like on the spot, you got sixty seconds to choose five. I, if I if I didn't have Bitcoin, I, I would probably have I would probably have Ethereum uh, and or uh, Monero probably. Ethereum and Monero. Yeah. Okay. It's Ethereum, 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 because it has uh, it has the, the 
user cases of uh, all these other all these other NFTs and stuff that are running on the Ethereum blockchain, right? And uh, and Monero because it is more secrety. Okay. It's got some user cases. Um, it's again, it's it's like. I guess I guess I'm, I choose to be a professional at what I'm a professional at, right? Uh-huh. Uh, and like just just the other day is is uh, I've been down here for almost 20 years. I don't speak Spanish, right? <laughs> which amazed a lot of people. I, yeah. I says I don't speak Spanish. Why don't you speak Spanish? Because I haven't found a reason to yet, right? I, I speak Starbucks Spanish. I can I can order Starbucks, but I don't really need any. I don't need. And uh, the other day uh, I saw. It's, it was on a little translator thing. It said, okay, and that's good, are both está bien in Spanish, right? Well, when somebody says, somebody that is a native Spanish speaker says, okay, that can mean that's good or okay. If they say that's good, it can mean that's good or okay. And I said, oh, now there's a reason to learn. Okay, I've got a Spanish tutor now, and <laughs> I, in the next couple, next few months, I will speak fluent Spanish because I, I have to, I have to want it. I have to, I have to, I have to have a reason for doing something. Right, and that's, I'm excited about that too. After 17, 19 years, uh-huh. but like, like, I mean, it's, can you? How how do you do something that you that you can't that you that you that you don't have the desire to do well? Right, like, can't, yeah. I, it's it's just you can't. I don't. Okay, so I'm, I'm, you're you're not getting out of this, Phil. We've got Ethereum, we've got Monero. You got three more. Ethereum, Monero. Um, uh, I guess Ripple has a has a has a, has a decent user case, like as far as all the banking stuff and everything. Um. Mm. That 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 you should you showed me that one uh, the with the the search engine one. That's Center. that's decentered. I'm I'm, I'm starting I'm starting to dig in there. I'm starting to dig in there, and I'm starting to really understand how they're doing it. Ooh. Right? Yeah, it's, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a talk tomorrow for sure about Decenter. I, yeah, I, I'm I'm having an understanding there. But that's that's what I'm saying is 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 now what I can do is I can look at I can look at look at a coin. Pick a coin and, and and show me the user case for it, and I can poke holes in it because I've been on this side of it enough. I, I can't necessarily prove it, but I could understand there's a user case that would actually work, and I can absolutely tell you, no, no shot. FUD. <laughs> okay, so we've got we've got Ethereum. Now don't go investing on my words, right? We're, we're going to go it's, Ethereum, Monero, Ripple, Ethereum, Ethereum, Monero, Decenter, and Ripple. No more. That's it. I was reading about ADA. I'm, I'm, I guess that's just more of a more of a more of a guess than than. Let me, let me give you a real answer. <laughs> Fine. Two seconds. Uh, Would you say Cardano ADA? Yeah. I'm going over to. I I still have my tab trader. So let me see what I was what I was watching. A little while ago, uh, XBT. Oh, that's the that's big one. Ethereum BTC. You have to take these decisions seriously because people are going to listen to you. So, <laughs> give me just a second. Oh, you know what? It's it's light Litecoin is like light, Litecoin has actually got a good user case. It, it works well. That's what right? I thought you were gonna say right away. Yeah, Litecoin, Litecoin, yeah. everyone. I, I I don't know why I didn't think it. I, I had to put them put them up in front of me, and um, it, it's it's yeah. I I'd probably I'd add, I'd add Litecoin, and I could revise that list. And of course, give of course. You a, this is your this is your much, sixty second. A much better list. Boom, this boom. is my right. My okay, finger so in the go, air. We went Ethereum, Monero, Ripple, Decenter, and. Litecoin, I like that. And spoiler yeah. alert, I'm actually in the works on possibly getting a higher up 
from the actual Decenter team. I'm trying to get them on Long Car Live in the next week or two. Um, oh, that's awesome. So for, I'm gonna put the link in the chat, decenter.net. It's a brand new Web3 browser that you can download for free. In fact, just forget that I said any of that because I'm gonna have a referral code in the next couple of days for that. But nonetheless, forget about our thin value, code. thin value, guys, thin value. Forget about the thin value <laughs> referral code. It's it to me. It's just an amazing use case. It's a free, superior, fully decentralized web browser. Enough about that. I'll be talking more about the center uh, really soon. And uh, let's let's move on. Let's move on here. Um, I see a couple of people talking about after about a one hand. Uh, I've actually thought I've actually that would actually be amazing. Some what? that now. So the question is, how about a one hand after break time out of 10 seconds so people don't burn their time bank after the 55 potty break? That's actually something I've, I've, I've always tried to think of a way. Yeah. That could be so, it, you know what? I'll tell you what. You, you know what? You know what kind of re what a relationship I would love to have, right? Is I don't, it, it's, 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 I'm not necessarily looking for solutions, but if, if you point out the problems that we need to solve, mm -hmm. right? That's it's 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 we can we can get we can get a lot of stuff done there because it's like it's it's that's that's definitely you as as the users right is telling us look here's the problem okay we'll address the problem and then I'll come up with you know three or four different ways to possibly solve it and I may throw away this the the the, the time bank the short the the uh, separate pre flop time bank I may throw that away because I still have to come up with the next two ideas to solve that problem so by giving me that pre-flop time bank what, what's what, what are we really saying right where why do we need a pre-flop time bank because our time bank's too long why is our time bank too long because people are tanking and it's it's, it's taking a long time for a, a hand to finish and why is that happening because they want to get into the money maybe the maybe late registration is too long maybe the time bank refreshes too fast it's it's you go down five different lies to find out the the what the real issue is, right? And it's the, the reality is, is we could probably have a much shorter time bank to start. And and if you start the begin, the longer you're in the tournament, the, the more your time bank go, it goes up. Uh, it's, it's, you could also get, get issue time bank for how big a stack you have, right? Like how big a pot you're gonna play, right? Um, there's, and this is just off the top of my head, right? It's, I have to put some more thought into it. But it's it's think three times, act once. Okay, and this is something where I'm not going to go too too deep, too deep into this. I don't want you to to go too too deep into this. But mm -hmm. I've been hearing this a lot that the high fill is there any chance to increase the time make for 25 cent, 50 cent cash games? 20 seconds is quite low for 100 100 plus pots. And I've actually heard I've actually been hearing that a lot lately. That a lot of you players, especially on the blitz, specifically the blitz, okay. uh, time banks are not deep enough. So. Something to note, Philly. Um, Rbam013 yeah. says, hey, Mike and Phil, big fan. When can we expect a full rollout of the staking feature? Also, do you expect at some point uh -huh. down the line that virtually every tournament will be available for staking? Uh, soon and yes. Right. Uh, well, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna roll it out to like, like specific tournaments. We, we rolled it out and um, there was, it worked. It's, we saw people loved it, right? And it, it's it's we saw that there was some potential issues, right? And pulled and pulled it back down. They're fixing they're fixing it rather than you know it's it's rather than rush to fix to fix it is do it, take your time, do it right, and it's and then re-release it. And that's I think that's a great that's a great thing. The way we released it is we've got I mean you were there, Mike, when we discussed how feed staking is going to read. Uh, how staking is going to work and here's the thought process behind it and this is why we want to do these things and listening to listening to the team pros really helped us to make sure that that people are it's it's so much better uh, it's at, at staking than some some of the other places um i think that's that's cool right? um and it, it comes from it comes from a place that's not uh we 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 Basically, we, we put up, we put up, we both put together staking, but we wanted to make sure that people weren't angle shooting each other by issuing staking, right? And, and it was it was a great conversation, and we came out with a good product. So as soon as they fix that, we'll relaunch just like we did. But like the first day, the first day that we launched, I think we had uh, thirty nine people offer stake, and thirty six of them sold out, right? In a sixteen dollar tournament. That's awesome. That's that's awesome, right? Yeah. So the take up was just just amazing. 
Um, we've got a few different versions of it. A is is could you could you uh, uh, give away a stake to somebody, right? So could you like yes, you will be able to raffle off one percent of this tournament, this tournament, this tournament, this tournament, turn two, instead of having to give away tournament tickets, you can actually just give away pieces yourself. Now they got a real sweat and they're watching your channel longer. I th we thought of that and we said, you know what, that'll be good for the streamers. That'll be good for the people that the, they'll keep paying attention. That's yep. great. Right. Um, and it, it's, it's, it doesn't really make us more money, but it's cool. And it's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm obviously, um, obviously I'm really excited for the the full stake and feature you rolled yeah. out really soon. So it, awesome. it'll 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 be fully be fully rolled out. Oh, that was there, there's there's an issue with multi day events, right? That uh, that we have to that we have to address before we can get all the all the uh, events too. Okay, really soon, Mr. G would yeah. say, hey, Mr. G would, what's up, my man? He says, Long Car, you touched on this briefly earlier in the interview that piqued my interest about what would happen if Bitcoin were to go to zero, and, and perhaps. What's that? Can't go to zero. Yeah, it not anymore. It ain't gonna happen. No, no. It's 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 as long as somebody will pay a penny, somebody will pay two pennies. Yep. Yep. Right. I, he so says. He, he says perhaps you can't speak into too much detail on this, but as a risk manager professionally in the energy sector, I was curious if you have any full time traders managing ACRs, Bitcoin positions, and protocols. Thanks for your time. Uh, it, it, it's it's we we've gotten really really good at it. Right. Uh, as far as uh, is, is mitigating, mitigating the risks, um, we've invested in a lot of peripheral companies and taking the experience that we've had, you know, it's, it's building, you know, it's uh, building all the Bitcoin. It's so that uh, I, we can we can hold as much or as little as we want. And I don't really sweat the fluctuation anymore um, simply because so myself as a poker player here, I'm, I'm on stream with you guys. Right. And it's it's. We, we know I'm a poker player. At some point, if I walk away, right, I still want to be able to sit down at a poker table with you guys and not hate my guts. So I have to make sure that I have all the player balances. So not only am I kind of nitty there, I have like three times player balances. <laughs> Just away. So it, when, 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 you, when, you've, when you've got that kind of set aside, the fluctuation, it's, it's you win some, you lose some. But the reality is it's really difficult um, for uh, for a company like us because put, put yourself put yourself in my spot. Every time somebody sends, I'm forced to buy. And every time somebody withdraws, I'm forced to sell. I don't get to choose. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you know what? It's, 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 and this is another funny one that, that most, most places, you know, don't even realize it. Um, you know, it's that, that whole Bitcoin and it, you can look at what the limits are. It means nothing because you can send as much as you want and I can't do anything about it. <laughs> wait, 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 so on my screen where it says like Bitcoin max deposit 25K, if I sent you a million- You could go ahead and send it $150,000 right now. Not a goddamn thing I could do except put 150,000 in your account. So a million <laughs> will actually go into my account right now. That's that's how it is. Yeah. Okay. Then you should just put no max. I'm not making deposits. Well, that's, I wanted to put all of them. Yeah. Right? It's, but it's, it's the reality is, is just by having that number there, right? Um, it, it's, we've had, we've had when in, in 2017, when Bitcoin was, you know, it's took and taken a dump in December, right? I realized that's when I realized what happened, right? And because somebody sent us like $500,000 in Bitcoin with one deposit. And now, what, oh, fuck. Uh, one. I have so, to yeah. buy a bunch of Bitcoin while it's going down. Here, eat your Bitcoin, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, man. That's, and, but if you think about it, there's, there's nobody on the other side of Bitcoin that can enforce those limits, right? And this is why, like with the, with the smaller coins that we take, this is why we have you put in a, a return address. Because if, if, it, if it comes, and, and, and I can't, I traded to Bitcoin almost immediately. Right? Because I only want to account for one. Right? We tried it, 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 the counting just was dead. So I traded almost immediately to uh, to Bitcoin. So we have to account for one. If I can't, 
then I'll send you your money back and we'll try again later. Right. That's, that's, that's all, that's the best I can do. But with, uh, uh, <laughs> how, how do you awesome. even no max right no max it's it's <laughs> yeah there's there's no ma- there's there because it's decentralized and you can't it's it's a push it's yeah. not a pull <laughs> so see kaiser three asks a great question it's actually a question i was thinking about when you were you know talking about flipping the phone either way on the mobile app how many tables can you play on the phone at once can you play more than one table oh yeah Okay, you can. So you can play multiple tables. Yeah, absolutely. On the phone when the phone comes out, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's see if I. I I think I've got the. uh, The. Keep going. I I check check on my phone. I think I've got the. uh, The mock up for the table, and I'll show you. Nice. (laughs) So yeah, we we actually do work for a living down here, trying to you know. Oh wow, that's funny. I'll tell you what. I blame you guys. I did not. I did not do this. They don't exist just yet, right? But on one of our streams, right, is somebody had suggested that we need to make ACR yoga pants, and there, there's the mock-ups for ACR yoga pants. So it's not that we're not listening to you. We do listen. <laughs> uh, we haven't put them out yet, but. And, and I don't even know if I'm going to. ACR yoga pants coming soon. <laughs> ACR yoga pants, right? Uh, but that, that, that's, I guess that's a, that's, a, that's a, to me anyway, that's a good example of, you know, you're listening to your customer base. It's, it's, we were on stream and somebody said, hey, you know, it's, you need to have more of this and more of that. And uh, somebody had said yoga pants. Right? <laughs> and they took it to heart. Uh, the graphics department. So we got another question here. Uh, this is the question I get asked all the time, so I gotta ask it. Don't wanna go too oh. deep in this. Make you know, aspiring poker pro. Any plans on allowing username changes, and why or why you know why isn't that allowed? Uh, it's it's username changes. Is is why would what why would you allow some? Why would you? What's the what's the upside to letting somebody change their username? I mean, you can't you can't change your face, right? Like in, in a live poker, <laughs> right? You know, it's it's you're making mental notes. If I let you change your username, then you get all new notes. Then you get no, no, that's not fair. I'm I'm trying to get to one username. I'm, t- I'm trying to get to get to one screen name, no matter what skin. Why? But w- why would you want to change your username, right? It's it's nothing good happening there, in my opinion, anyway. It's, and I'm open to listen. That, that, that's where I've that's where I've grown as a as a human, right? Is uh, uh, is give me give me a re- give me a good reason why we should do that, and I'll flip flop. I just haven't I haven't come up with a reason. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Answer question answered. Uh, all right. Trying to pick out the good questions here. Oh, just just fire fire all of them. Let's, let's see if we can get through like 10 or 15 up real fast. Okay, so I know um, 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 Dr. Dangles had a question about uh, I'm trying to find it here really quick. So sexy. Uh, why push the prize pools to a top heavy format when Canadians like myself and Russians came in droves for more Everyone friendly structures. Are you saying, Kyle Buddy? I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're asking here. You're trying to say that you think. Yeah, that, I, I was. I was just doing the same thing. I'm, are you saying that you think that mm-hmm. ACR has gone from top heavy structures to like flattened out payout structures? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm trying to understand you, man. Well, it's it's. You play, have we, Mike? I mean, I haven't noticed a big change. I think he says that it used to be. So, Doctor Dangles, it's it's. I think what you're talking about is you say certain tournaments used to be 180 people's played, and now it's 108. So it's paying less people are making the money. Is what you're saying? So, anyways, Doctor Dangles, as always, you guys know me. Obviously, I'm trying to be a host here on Long Card Live. Obviously, I'm always. Going to be the best America's Cardroom Pro I can. Dr. Dangle, send me a private message. 
I want to know more details yeah. about this off stream, it's, and we will. We give will... me give me a couple of, give me a couple of examples. It's, yep. it's, if, if we change, I mean, we're, we're we're definitely human, right? It's it's if we change something and it was was not right. It's, well, listen, I, I mean, it's 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 you know, if I'm if I'm stepping on your toe, right, and it hurts, yell and I'll move, right? It, it's it's but uh, I guess you have to have somebody has to yell and somebody has to you know uh, listen. Right? Yep. And that's one of the things that we try to do. For those of you, you know, who it's, who do want to see what's coming is is the, the the road the Trello roadmap, right? We put it right out there public, and I think that's I think that's absolutely great because uh, is is not a, our our competitors can go ahead and look at what's coming. Uh-huh. You know, what, if they're if if the, the fact is is if if our competitors are looking at our public roadmap to get their new features, we've already won, yeah. right? Yeah. Tell me that's not just a re-raise. <laughs> all in degenerate says does phil i already know the answer to this but i gotta ask is it's a good question does phil Nagy play on acr <laughs> no I, well it's it's i do with with uh just some fish seven two but just in like the private games yeah. right uh, it's in, like i paid heads up with chris or whatever or in some of the stuff i actually i i, I play uh on gg only because my screen name is f u g g right <laughs> And uh, it's it's my dream is well it's going to happen. It's over the next year I'm going to be the winningest. I'm going to be the, I'm going to make more final tables in their Sunday 10K than anybody else, because then I get to play the next day on GGTV and the the, the announcers have to say and it's F U G G for the three bet. God, Jesus, that's so good. That's so I will go a long way for a joke. I will absolutely. It's it's the sickness in me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I, I, I feel like we got about a quarter of it out, but like it's it's right. <laughs> we didn't even get to NFTs, right? Oh, geez, yeah. yo, yes. So we we have a few minutes left on the show, and yes, let's 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 take the last ten minutes or so here talking about NFTs. Uh, yeah, it's so, a hot thing it, right now, and yeah, take it away, Phil. I have no idea which one to invest in. I'm gonna start. Or, or I could just pick one and say it, right? So we can get that part right out of the way, right? <laughs> um, but it, it's, it's I, I looked at, it's, I was looking at the, the NFTs and I said, okay, it's, I looked at the, the di- digital horses and I'm like, okay, it's, I get that. I get that. And I pu- pulled apart their business model and it's, it's, that's pretty sharp. And then I started the, the collectibles. I, I, I kind of get it. I, it's, it's, I do wonder because maybe they, if they degrade, like if you have a Michael Jordan rookie card, right? Uh, like I saw, you saw you, you were showing your basketball card, I think it was. Yep. Mike. Um, and if, if those degrade, because they do degrade in real life, or you have to take care of them and upkeep them, um, maybe they're going to be more valuable because there's going to be fewer of them as they go, right? Uh, that's one thing that I wonder. So it's, it's we actually doing a little re- R&D about, you know, how we could, how we could develop, develop an NFT that degrades if you don't take care of it and pay attention to it, right? Just like a real card. Right? How cool is that? Right? I like that. Some, some, yes, because, because some non-zero amount of people are going to not take care of it and everybody else's that is taking care of it is going to raise in value. Cool. Snap Flatter in the chat says NFT avatars earned for site achievements would be cool. Uh, Stay tuned. I am Snap so Stay tuned. 10 miles ahead of you on that. Probably. Stay tuned. <laughs> so NFTs, we talked a little bit about last week with Chris Moneymaker on, on the set here. Yeah. NFTs on America's card room is going to happen relatively soon. Really excited yes. for this. Uh, learning, learning a lot, learning a lot about NFTs. Um, uh, you, you know what? It's I'm, I gotta I gotta step in and and I feel really strongly about this one. So I want to pop this in here and explain what the heck I believe I did, right? And uh, let me pull it up. Uh, I, I, I did the first NFT truth. So I, I know that maybe that doesn't resonate with some people. I think it's cool. I like it. Um, and you know, what's funny is, is I got, I got a buddy. It took him like seven hours to figure out how to buy an NFT, to be- figure out how to buy the NFT that I made. And I said, seven yeah, hours, stop it. Seven hours. Stop. He, 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 
I, I had no, seriously. That's the most um, determined had, human being in the history of the world. Well, it's, it's the thing is, is, is I've had, I had so many people hit me up and say, Hey, um, can, can you buy, can you just buy that NFT for me? I said, Nope. Why, why would I say, why would I say no? I because will not go want buy them that to go through the process of buying an NFT to get the experience of crypto and NFT Teach a man to the, fish. Whole, the whole experience. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I do have to ask this. I, I said I said the chat part of the question, the, the chat part of the show is done, but I scrolled down and multiple people asking this. Will there be a search player feature soon? It's a great question. A fish finder? A fish finder. You know, no. you know, or like, you know, like obviously, <laughs> obviously I know we've talked a little bit about, especially like no matter what, making it. We can so debate, we can debate that. We can we, we can debate that. It's 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 I have I haven't I haven't really thought about it a lot um since uh we didn't we didn't do it, but what what I what we have uh, uh, considered, what I have thought about, is um, kind of like on um, on Instagram or something or whatever, where you have a friend request, where you can request to uh, uh, follow somebody or search somebody, um, and they and they say yes, you can. That way, it's not a fish finder, and the and the, and the person is. Uh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Obviously, yeah. yeah that's, then that's, if, if I want to, that's kind of where. That would be awesome because, yeah, because then if someone wanted to, like, show a bunch of friends, like, hey, come watch me play, you can always search me. I'm approving of this. That yep. would take away the, the sharky aspect of it. That, and that'd be, that'd be great. Yep. That'd be and, great. and you know what? It's, it, it's, it's the fact is, is a lot of people, a lot of people ask for it. But the, 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 the fact is, is, is I haven't done it because it's not hashtag good for Pope. It can be, it can be used in, for, for, for notorious. Is that the word I'm looking for? For nefarious purposes. And I can't, I can't do that. I'm, I'm not okay with that. So the push, the push where you say, Hey, uh, yes, I can, this person can follow me. Uh, I like that a lot. All right. Tell me what else. Okay. That's it. We're cutting off the, the chat. Yeah. The, the chat. That's good. That's good. Yeah. You know, it's, so I, I, I definitely do want to talk, like you said, about NFTs and, and um, you know, obviously we've talked a little bit about NFTs. Yeah. And so NFTs, N NFTs, the, the, the it, it's, it's basically, it's a, it's a token, right? Just like a, a digital art or, but I, I guess, so explain that real quick, Mike, just, just at a high level. So we get everybody on the same level and then I'll, I'll go through my thought process on some of the other stuff that we're doing. Yeah, and obviously, I know, I know there has to be a little more coherent. There definitely has to be a handful of out there that, that just don't know what NFTs are, don't understand NFTs. Yeah. Um, there are definitely levels of different kinds of NFTs. The most common, obviously, is literally a JPEG, uh, you know, digital art. Um, and then there's next level NFTs, there's digital collectibles. Uh, there are there are NFTs in the form of music, musical videos, uh, characters within video games, pieces of land within video games. Um, there are literally so many different types of NFTs out there, and obviously, prior to NFTs, basketball cards were the only option for trading cards, and now there's yep. online digital trading cards. Basically. What I like to tell people in a short, brief summary is how crypto is bringing us into a digital age of a revolutionized digital currency. And in my opinion, bring us into a paperless money age a lot sooner than later. NFTs is bringing collectibles online. Like I said, yeah. you know, some people like to have a physical thing, but obviously as we've seen the world develop over the last number of years. Everything is going online. Everyone's got their phone in their face. Everyone's on their computer all the time. Internet took over. And now instead of buying a physical trading card, that's going to take a week to ship to me in the mail. I can literally click a button and snap. It is mine right now. Don't have to ship it. Don't have to wait. I don't have to physically worry about storing it and having it damaged. It is online. It's on the blockchain. It's a digital collectible. I definitely think there's a lot of 
futuristic stuff that's going to develop with NFTs. I think this is literally the tip of the iceberg right now. I don't think yeah. it's just a mania phase. I do think things are going a little crazy with specific NFTs and maybe, you know, overvaluing certain things. But nonetheless, I definitely see a massive use case for NFTs and kind of a glimpse into the future of what we're going to see with a lot more online abilities to trade and collect and store and watch music videos and gaming NFTs are becoming hot for a reason. Um, like I said, there's so many layers and levels to this, but in essence, NFTs are bringing collectibles online just as Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are bringing yep. currency online. So it's very well, fast, let, let, very let, let me let me let me talk let me talk plain English, right? Yes. It's because because it's it's you can go down down deep that in the, the radical there. Um, it's, it's, it's for those of you who have ever played, let's say, Candy Crush or any other game on your phone. Instead of instead of buying a lollipop hammer that just that goes to uh, that you use and to, to beat the, the level, it's maybe you buy an NFT lot lollipop hammer that has value later after you bought it. Right. So how many how much money have you spent on your phone on, on Roblox? Ro Roblox? My kids play Roblox and I get the Roblox gift card so that they can have their I know well, about what the if those Roblox. I know about the Roblox. Right. So what if what if all the stuff the kid your kids were buying were on an NFT and, and it actually had some value later on? Or they can give it to their brother or sister later on. Or you can it's the next generation can have it. Now these these all become these all have some kind of value, right? Um, because Right now, it's just digital air that goes away, right? And yeah, it's super, super profitable, right? Uh, but uh, hang on. Um, but at, at the same time, it loses it loses something. Like with uh, Magic the Gathering, I play, play Magic the Gap. Used to play Magic the Gathering. I still would love to, but I just don't have time. Um, but it, it's the cards. The cards are valuable. Like a Lotus is, I don't know, it's got to be $50,000 or something like that. Um, it, it's, it's, and it, digitizing those collectible cards, right? You're playing, you're playing online right now to play Magic the Gathering, but you can never make the cards real, right? So that kind of makes it worse, right? Because you want, now you want to play with live cards because they can hold, they, they hold value. Uh, well, you put put an NFT to that, and all of a sudden they're all worth it. Um, that's that's one user case, right? Is uh, if, if you could digitize all your baseball cards from when you were a little kid, or your comic books, right? Or uh, it's any of those things. Uh, again, it's it's we're in a digital age, right? Uh, it's it's you can do a ton. There's going to be a ton of ACR NFTs. Um, uh, and then, like I said, we're just barely scratching the scratching the surface on on the NFTs. Uh, I'm I'm failing miserably because I'm on a computer that I have never been on. It's my it's a new computer, and sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So what I did what I did was I got a little OCD with the NFTs, and I started looking at how to how you make an NFT, and looking at it, I spent about, I don't know, eight hours or so that's looking at uh, the NFTs. And I said, okay, I can understand this. I know how to do this. I, 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 I can do this now. Right? And that's, then I did. And then just to make sure that I did, I, it's, I actually paid somebody smarter than me to, uh, to <laughs> make the, make the NFT. And what I, what I immortalized, right. Uh, and remember, it's it's immortalized. It's there forever, right? That's kind of a big deal, right? I mean, forever is a long time. Turns out it's forever. Uh, it's it's I immortalized what my version of the truth. And how 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 does that how does that mean? What does that mean? Why, why would it? Why would I immortalize my version of the truth? And just think about that for a second, um, because. Everybody has their own version of what the truth is, right? Um, what are the user? What are the user user cases for that? Right. Well, it's it's. I know there's one user case, and that's uh, maybe you're a reporter, and you don't want to reveal your sources. Oh, you can. You don't have to. Right. You don't have to reveal your sources. You could just put all the truth in an NFT, and now you don't ever have to reveal your sources. 
because it's all real. It's all, it's all, it's all there. It's, it's, it's digitized. And you don't ever have to worry about, uh, you don't have to worry about witness protection program. You just put all the truth on an NFT it remains completely anonymous and you, you can't, it, there's no value in killing somebody that is going to go testify because they already did. They put it in the truth, right? They don't even have to like keep getting rid of them. Wouldn't make that not the truth anymore. Wow. <laughs> That's like that, that it just, it, when I saw that, it just blew my mind. And for those of you who know me, it's Jamie Dimon just tilts me, tilts my face off. And, uh, here we go. I just, I WhatsApped you the, the NFT that I made. And I don't, I guess I, maybe I put it in the Zoom. Or can I put a, can I, can I put a link in the chat here? In yeah, the, yeah, um, just put the link in the chat. Okay, I'll put the link in the chat. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, no, no, no. You can't actually. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just send me, send me okay. here on the uh, on yep. the Zoom chat. Okay. So it's, it's I did this and uh, and and I did it, you know, in eight hours. <laughs> uh, and then it's the guy that I I had do it. You know, it's it's did it and we're charging. Oh, you're talking you know, about your your NFT. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got a command in the chat for that exclamation point Nagy NFT in the chat, guys. Okay. There it so is. So it's it's. It's, this, this is this is my version of the truth, right? Is 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 you can go there and you can see that in twenty whatever, it's a long time ago, I made that video when Jamie Dimon came out. Uh, it's it's it was against Bitcoin, and basically I, I said that uh, there's no pop, there's no way that that somebody that is in the financial industry like look, this is the same it's the same concept that I put a hundred dollars on the on the guy's phone that was in the financial industry I knew he would have to contact me to understand this right so if I knew that he would have to understand this then Jamie Diamond is smart enough to understand this right and and, and to to say the things that he says it, what's why, why would he, why would he say that if it's unless it's in his best interest if it's just it doesn't make any sense, right? That it's, 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 you know, the, your line doesn't make any sense. I called the bluff, right? That's, that's what I did. And, and, and I called the bluff, I called the bluff. I want to say, where was it? Was it 2016 or something? It was a long time ago. Uh, 2019 was the second one. 2016 was the first, one, I guess. That's a long time ago, 2016 to go in there and say, you know, J JP Morgan came out with, uh, with, what is their version of what's what is that bitcoin is pre oh bitcoin anybody who owns bitcoin will be fired oh come on <laughs> i can it, 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 it's it's you can't you can't even say a dirty word at work without somebody you know it's, it's but you can fire people for owning bitcoin what well that's the beautiful huh. thing about bitcoin is if i wanted to keep that private then you would not know but uh, isn't that like isn't that like crypto racism that's like the exact point of why Bitcoin was created so that that shit can't happen. You know, like you can't do right. that, man. It's, 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 you, 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 you can't do, you can't do that. And then, so, uh, uh, it's, it's, it just tilted my face. I was angry and, I, and, and, you know, I call your bluff. There's no, there's no possible way you've made it as far as you have. It and, and you, and you know how markets work and you understand it, that you can believe what you're saying. So now what's, if, if, if you can't, if you can't believe what he's saying, Right. Then my next step is what is he really saying? He's really saying that I can't beat this and I need to slow it down. I need to buy some, myself some time or I can't beat this. I need to drive the price down so I can accumulate. And the biggest and, and one of the things that frustrates me is every single person that I talk to about it says, well, everybody knows he's just he's just no. He drove the price down so much by saying that. So not everybody knows that it's just FUD. <laughs> it's it's because it, it, it wouldn't work. So when I said when I when I said that I immortalized this in an NFT, right? I, it's, it's, I felt pretty strongly about it. Well, what's what's your truth? What what truth would you like to immortalize and make sure that never happens again? How about how about scammers? People who scam people for 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 poker money, right? Make that an NFT that anybody can view anywhere, forever, right? And if that were to stop those scammers, 
win. Truth, yeah, truth conquers all. Hell yeah. Let's uh, let's actually take a look at this real quick, guys. I played this last week with Chris on. We're gonna play it again for those of you that weren't here last week, and there's a number of you. This is Phil Nagy's NFT once again! Exclamation point Nagy NFT. That'll bring you to this page right here. This is a video that Phil put out a number of years ago, and he just turned it officially into an NFT. There are 249,959 of them left, I believe. Uh, 13 owners. I am one of them. 250,000 total copies of this NFT. Uh, right now, they're going for about two dollars and fifty cents. A little, little rise up on the price. I think I bought mine for two, so I'm, you know, I've got a nice little twenty-five percent profit right now. But let's let's play this right here. This is Phil's. Uh, yeah, this, this is it. You don't, you don't see a, a financial analyst saying. saying and, and keep, that, keep know, in mind, uh, I was really hot. Somebody on buys like this commodity. <laughs> they're fired and they're yeah. stupid and they're just the dumbest person alive. Forgive me, but that just sounds like fear and ignorance. Now, it may be a combination of fear and ignorance, or they're actually really smart. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't hear And can see that they're up against something that they hear? can't beat and they can't Oh, because I'm not join. The you don't see hey, you guys hear that right? I think you guys hear that right? Yeah. Let me know. Because I got the volume. But yeah, you guys can check that out. Yeah. No matter what, yeah. you guys can you guys can click on the exclamation point Nagy NFT. You guys can check yeah. that out. Very cool stuff. And like Phil said, that's 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 another layer There's another the coolness of NFTs. Yeah. He's literally immortalized himself on this NFT. It's there forever. It's gonna be you know, it, it's there. It's yeah. it's and, and you know what? I'm going it's, 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 to put out and it's it's there for good. I'm going to teach you guys to use NFTs. You should just do it now, right? Get it out of the way, right? Because you're going, to, I'm going to teach you to use NFTs. <laughs> That's right. And once again, guys, America's card room, NFTs coming onto the ACR platform in a bunch of different variety of ways. Uh, I can't give away too much, but there's going to be a number of oh. different types of ways that you guys can acquire NFTs by... I, 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 it's, I got no problem giving, giving away. It's, it's, the fact is, is, I can put I can put a twenty five dollar NF, an NFT in, that's your five dollar rewards. Just go claim you claim it. You've got your NFT, and I'll always buy it back from you for five dollars. So I'm going to force you to claim your rewards in the form of an NFT. NFT, and as people redeem them and they become more rare. Maybe you don't want to sell it back to me. Maybe it's cool. Maybe you want to put it on a badge and have it on your on your avatar because you've got a big one. What, what is it? You got a twenty five thousand dollar one or whatever. You make it to five star general and you're the first one, first guy that did, and you have the only twenty thousand dollar NFT out there, right? It, it's it's and what am I going to do? Is is every single last person is going to learn to use crypto? Win, win. Now, it's, I would like I would like everybody else in the in the world in the, in the crypto world. If everybody just taught somebody else how to use it, we would all make like ten times the money that we do. But that's not what it's about. It's about that we can change the world. Yep, and that's that's yeah. the whole, that's the whole excitement about Bitcoin is it's changing the world. It's a revolution. Um, and yes, a couple of you asked in the chat. Yeah, it's like. You know, like Phil just said, you win a tournament for a thousand dollars. You can, you'll be able to, in time, you'll be able to choose. Okay, I want five hundred dollars cash, and I want an NFT that's worth five hundred dollars. And that's the, the unique thing about the ACR NFTs is they're gonna have a floor, a guaranteed floor. So that NFT, let's say I cash a tournament for a thousand dollars, I decide to get five hundred dollars cash and a five hundred dollars NFT. That NFT will never go below five hundred dollars. ACR will always buy that back for me for at least five hundred dollars. I'm sure there's certain NFTs on ACR that will just stay at a certain value. Some could possibly move up. You can win a poker tournament, maybe possibly, and get a certain NFT. There's, there's well, it's, enough, it's, there's I'll tell you what, a variety of ways to get NFTs on the ACR platform. What, very soon. what, what, what would it be? What would it be worth to, to have? You know, a portion of that that, that first big score that, that you had on ACR, Mike. What's Some that? portion in an NFT that you could have. You know, it's, it's on your on your on your avatar, right? That'd be sick. That would have been sick, right? It's, it's, yeah. And you know, you, you, you don't want to sell it, right? Yeah. It's 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 just it's just cool. It's but it's always going to be it's always going to be there. It's always going to be worth it. It's, it's always going to be uh, it's backed by it's NFT backed by ACR. That's awesome. I love that idea. 
it's it's, it's and 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 it's funny that that it's we're, we're gonna make it's i know it's already done it's just it's just a matter of actually going through the motions to do it it's in my head I, it's already done <laughs> we just have to put the work behind it to actually make it real um it's, it's that is going to happen right uh, that's awesome it's it's i mean think you think about you know now you can now you, you'd be able to you'd be able to uh, trade you trade your nft with uh p2ps with the nfts so so it's all safe on the blockchain oh wow this guy is not the dumbest person alive <laughs> anyway awesome. yeah it's gonna be it's it, it's it's really gonna be and we'll see how we're all where it evolves from there it's yeah it's, it's i'm sure and yeah i'm sure there's gonna be more layers to add it and it's definitely exciting I know, thing, I start, man. I love, you go, I love you go, you, it. I start going down that rabbit hole and it just, I, yeah. And you already know, obviously, you already know, obviously, that like, just like ACR was the first site to kind of adopt Bitcoin, then pretty yeah. soon first, ACR will be the first site to adopt NFTs. It's going to happen. It's going to flourish on the other sites after you guys make it happen. I'm pretty, obviously, it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's, and you know what? I have no problem. I'm, I have no problem paving the road and, and having it be good for both. Right. It's, it's, it's good for everybody. Just, it's, it's holding, holding something like that. That's why I don't have a problem talking about it. Right. Is first is when nobody else has the, the balls to do it. <laughs> Not first. It's, it's, it's like, it's, 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 I mean, and, and then once you, once you do it, I, if they copy it, it's, it's good for poker. Okay. Right. It's, yeah, I got no problem with that. Awesome, awesome. I'm excited for all this, man. A lot of big yeah. stuff coming up. We got the we got the NFTs coming out soon. We got the mobile version ACR coming out relatively soon, soon, yeah. quote unquote soon. Um, a lot of exciting stuff. Relatively coming. soon, compared comparatively speaking to not at all. Right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah so this has been fun, Phil. Um, yeah. Um, thanks for yeah. coming on tonight, man. I appreciate hey, you coming. I, on. I'd be happy to come back another time. It just t- turns out we just end up, you know, having a good time and talking, and you know, it's it's we get a lot better. That's right. right. That's right. It's, maybe we will. Maybe we'll take NFT marijuana. All right. NFT marijuana coming soon. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all awesome. right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a ton, it's, Phil. It's have really a good day, talking to you. No worries. Have a good one. Thanks. Keep Phil. it up. All right, guys, Mr. Phil Nagy, Mr. ACR, hanging hanging out with us tonight, man. This is this was a fun time. This is a fun time. And obviously, you already know, you already know, you know, Long Car Live, we are live. There's no script. I'm, you know, I wrote down a couple things I want to talk about with Phil, but that's what I love about Phil. You know, he's, he's free flowing. You know, it's, there's no script ever here on the Long Car Live set. And, um... Yeah, a big shout out to America's Cardinal CEO for making it happen here tonight. I loved, I didn't know that, I didn't know about the newspaper, you know, side of Phil, the, you know, living in Ventura, California, owned 50% of a physical newspaper company, and all of a sudden with the internet kicking up, this is in 1998, 1999, realized like, wait, internet's popping, it's going to be a big thing. This physical newspaper here is going to go down the drain, essentially. And as we've seen, that's exactly what's happened to a lot of newspaper companies. And as I said earlier, I, I admire the maverick in Phil Nagy to just say, I love poker. I love internet. So how about we look into this online poker thing? I'm going to make it happen. I had no idea. It was just like, I'm going to go to, I you know, looked into online poker sites made his way down to Costa Rica, knocked on the right doors, or, you know, just pretty much just knocked on doors and said, hey, here I am. This is what I envision. I'm going to make you better. Looked at America's card room at the time in the very early 2000s. And his, in his words, was not, to say the least, the best, right? Very small site, kind of struggling with some things. And he just believed in himself and made it happen, made his dreams happen. And... Here we are now, America's Card Room, the number two biggest site in the world, by far the biggest site in the United States of America, the first online poker site and CEO to majorly adopt crypto into online poker, and now here we are talking about NFTs as the next big thing, online digital collectibles, and it's going to be awesome to see 
America's Card and roll out a bunch of these NFT features that are gonna come out soon. As I said, multiple ways to get them, claim your rewards, claim your rake back in NFT forms, win a tournament, maybe you'll get a special NFT, and obviously on top of that have the ability, the, the option to put some or all of a tournament cash, you know, fourth place for $500, have the option and the ability to take some or all of that cash and put it into an NFT. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. All, all, as always, looking forward to the future of America's Card Room and couldn't be happier that Mr. Phil Nagy is the captain of the ship. But very, very cool to learn a little bit more about Phil Nagy. Hope you guys learned a little something here tonight. Hope you guys had a great time. If you liked this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, which is free. And don't forget to click the bell, which will let you know when any new video has been uploaded to my YouTube channel. If you want to catch my streams live, I'm currently streaming all day Wednesdays and all day Sundays over at twitch.tv under the username Long Car Poker. Thanks for watching.